Yeah. Ooh. Podcast. Welcome to the podcast. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Welcome to the. Please don't watch this podcast. Podcast. Uh, I, I welcome everybody to the Please Don't Watch This Podcast podcast. I am 13. your I am your host, this Carl Lazard, and this is my co-host here, Bulba Slasher. Bulba Slasher, how are you doing today? What well, Bulba Sla- I guess that works. Uh, you know what? I was gonna I was gonna get real angry, but then I was like, that works, that works, that's good, that's good. Because then you could be like Bulba Slasher and Ivy Slasher and Beba uh, Beba Beba Slasher. Beba, Beba Slasher. <laughs> And then we also got uh, you know Troy, uh, you know Troidal. multiple Troys, Tro- Tro- yeah Troidal. So I, I, we make the main three anyway. <laughs> well, welcome I... to episode thirteen. Uh, today is uh, April fourteenth, I believe. Fifteenth uh, of your dolly, I assume. Yeah, well, it'll be fifteenth in three hours for me. So, well, um, let's get started in here. It's been a little bit of a while, but um, we've had quite a bit of weeks since our last podcast, I believe. Quite a bit of month. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to start, or do you? Uh, okay, you want? well, uh, you have a lot to talk about. You told me so. I I do actually. Um, I I f- we're, I'm gonna bring this this topic back from the dead just for this brief moment because I I figured out like how to fix it in a sense. But I'm gonna start off with what have I been playing? Yeah. Ooh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I'm, I was like trying to figure out like how I could make this better, and I thought about it and like. Well, why don't I just talk about, like, the games that I just finished playing on, I don't know, the Carl 101 show. So let's talk yeah, about... Yeah, it could be a recap. Yeah, right. so um, since the last podcast, I believe we have del- dove dove into uh, starting and finishing Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Uh, yeah. Which I thought was... It was a lot of fun. Dude, everybody... I, I, I don't know if... Maybe if I speak for myself, but I feel like everybody really enjoyed that. Despite the fact that, you know, it took almost four hours to find the stupid egg... To progress any point in that game, um, and the treasure rock shop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, I don't, I don't know. It just seemed like it was a lot of fun. I mean, we all. I I felt myself like kind of re-energized by doing that. Um, I don't know if as a viewer, I, I was getting really mixed up because both I was watching both you and Logan play. So sometimes I was like, "Don't you have this thing?" I was like, "Oh wait, that was that was Logan." Yeah, and then vice versa. <laughs> so I got a little mixed up. And essentially, that made it so then my morning was Zelda, and then my night was Zelda. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining a little. Well, I am a little, but <laughs> well, I think it was pretty fun, too. Definitely a change of pace. That's unfortunately the uh, what happens when we have a lot of streamers just going back and forth, uh, which we'll get to, actually, We're having I a lot think. Of streams, yeah. We'll get to it in a little bit, too, I think. I think we should talk about that as well. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely, um, I really want to maybe like even do that possibly, like, I don't want to do it specifically possibly again, like right away, but I, I'm kind of interested in maybe doing like the earthbound one or uh link to the past. Uh, the Majora one is up and running as well. Consider doing the wind waker one. I don't know about that, but like, like everything, I like to give things a rest. Um, we also started or, uh, Pokemon let's go Eevee, uh, which I wasn't sure. If that was going to be like a super dud or if that was going to be good. Um, I thought I would give that game a pretty solid score, all things considered. Um, it's it's fun to me. It was graphically good. Like it was everything I kind of just wanted in a Pokemon game that was remade once again. Um, the only thing I really hated, and I think most people agree with too, is just the method of catching Pokemon in that game is kind of weird. Mm. Um, it's... I, I, there was a lot of frustration I think I had when I went through that entire game, just specifically catching the Pokemon. Did I make it work? Yeah, of course I did, but still, um, something to be forgotten if they make Let's Go Johto version. I um, have noticed that I think each year you've been playing a Pokemon game. What do you What do you think about that? In retrospect, um, it, it's just kind of. I see. Here's the thing with like what I choose to play. I, I never have a good idea or reason on why I choose them. Um, it's just something that kind of speaks out to me. That's why I like. I've gone over. We've gone over this before in the podcast. Where you know, don't feel discouraged if you give me an idea and I reject it. It's not because I hate your idea. It's just because I hate your idea that day. So. So like that's how you felt around. Well. Uh, we can transition here to uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. 
Uh, that was a long time request by our good friend Zorks. <laughs> Zorks. Zorks. <laughs> Zorks. <laughs> and um, I've been enjoying it. There's definitely like those walls that you hit, and it's like, oh boy, what? What's gonna? What's he gonna do now? Is he gonna, uh, you know, miss time to jump again, or you know? Yeah. And I, I think I, I, it's it's been fun watching it. My only problem definitely. with Donkey Kong Tropical or Donkey, I wrote Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on my notepad. No, I apologize <laughs> if I neglect the the word country within the game. Um, but aside from that, uh, the the biggest thing that it's been really um, hurting Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is if like I all of a sudden get I lose all my energy and get tired because that game becomes a little bit rough for me to narrate and talk about. If that makes it's any sense, it's because you either need to be focused or you you have to go through a level again and you don't have anything else to add. Yeah, and it really helps when I have my full energy and attention to base that off of. How do you feel about like the way you're tackling it? Because you seem to be just aiming for all the puzzle pieces. Yeah, so um, there's there's two primary methods. I mean, there's there's depending on who you ask and how to hundred percent the game properly. The way I look at hundred percenting that game is um, getting all the puzzle pieces within it, uh, getting all the Kong letters, and then doing all the bonus levels. Um, those three right. things are pretty much the main thing about hundred percenting it in the sense. Uh, the side from that, there's the challenge mode where you get like one heart and one hit mode basically there's also the time trials which are ridiculous so um i i always hated the time trials especially in returns they're really awful in that game as well um mm. but even in tropical freeze i remember trying to do them and it's it's one of those things where it's like i don't want to sit there you know for five to ten minutes trying to figure out how to do the first levels gold medal run essentially I typically don't like time trials in games either, so I haven't really played much of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, so but I assume like with any time trial I probably wouldn't like it. Doing yeah, it. I, I mean like I Like a game like Rayman Legend or Origins, um I was okay with doing the time trials because like there's the pro time trials, I guess, or the expert time trials, and then there's the if you get this it's good enough, and we'll give you the final reward kind of time trial. I guess the only time trials I like are, I guess, in, like, racing games. I guess that counts. <laughs> Where everything's basically a time trial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's true. All right, fair enough. Okay, um, what else did you tackle? Um, Octodad, right? Yeah, I did Octodad. Um, I I thoroughly enjoyed the game. I, I liked how short it was. Um, it was, like, perfectly timed, I think. Like, What's interesting is that you played the sequel, though. That, that's the sequel. Is it? Yeah, there's um, there's Octodad and then Octodad Dadly's Catch. Oh, I thought they were just the same game and Octodad was, like, the original no, version um, of it. Even if you, like, go on Wiki, it's like, yeah, this is a uh, this is a sequel. I think. Huh. I did not I know mean, that. Because uh, um, in the first one, you're around your house. It, it, you're, you're just doing things in your house more than you did in um, Dadly's Catch. Okay. I believe. So, I mean, if you ever, you know, go back for that... It wouldn't hurt. I think it'd be a good addition since you seem to enjoy it. It kind of sounds like you can play either of them in either order, really. Yeah, I suppose so. The It seems like Daddy's Catch is more about Octodad's backstory. Yeah. Know? And I don't think that's the same for Octodad. I don't know. <laughs> um, the only thing, I guess, I was just... Uh, the last level, honestly, like when you're doing the boss fight level... Yeah. Um, was probably the most annoying of them all. Is the, the point of the game where, like... Yeah, the controls are meant to be kind of goofy, in a sense, to make that fun. But, like, when you actually start putting, like, skillful platforming to a degree that's, like, a little on the too hard side, then it becomes, like, frustration. Especially when you're, the kid is like, oh, keep going, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Like, I found the goofy controls really fun when I was trying to play all the little arcade games because it was difficult, in a sense. But, like, trying to walk across the little beams up on top of the building, and then you'd fall off, and it's like... All right. Well, here we go again. Start from the beginning. You know, then it, then it runs into the unfortunateness of trial and error. But I mean, it, it was like aside from that, it's that's something that was probably a super minor thing to really complain about. Like, I, I've been known to when I complain about something, probably make it sound a lot worse than it probably actually is because despite that fact, it's super minor, but just needs to be brought up. But I yeah, think I'll. I'll I can, I can see. All around, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think I streamed it a little too late into the night since everybody seemed to go to bed probably by the time I finished the game. 
But um, I think you'd watch the VOD. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You can go watch. Which the I need to. Uh, I need to do the thumbnails for. I'm. I'm having. having ugh, I'm having a hard time deciding what to uh, make for most of these ones that you just finished. <laughs> having a hard time, but I'll. I'll get to them eventually. It's, it's, it's okay. Take take your time. Sorry, You're, boss. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about what you've been doing lately in a second here. I'm almost, I'm almost <laughs> done with talking about my games. Um, I beat Sun and Moon. Um. Oh really? I, I don't think we talked about this last time in the podcast. I'm pretty sure we did. I don't. I don't think so. No. Um, you you were just playing about and we talked about it. Yeah. So I, I finished it. Um, I feel a lot better now that I finished it. I, I have a little bit more positiveness about the game. Um, there's still the things That's that good were, to hear. were, you know, as described earlier. But like for the most part, I kind of felt a little bit more satisfied to finish the I game. I feel like I felt like X and Y. Now now that we have Sword and Shield on the horizon, this will sound this will be dated obviously, but. I, I think that these were these two games were really good for building up the next generation because we're jumping from like you know two D sprites into a more three D environment. Yeah, and the other thing too with Sun and Moon that uh, they really kind of tried to go for was actually really turning it more into an RPG. Like you yeah. look at the first Pokemon game, you know, Red and Blue. Like text is super useless in that game <laughs> when you think about it. Like, oh, you know, speaking of, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I read this thing that each lily that you see in the game is a different lily with different um, stats because of how the way Game Freak designs their game. So each lily encounter that you see, uh, in, as well as every other like character, is a different like <laughs> coded character. <laughs> what? If that makes sense. Uh, it's hard to explain it, but basically... Like they changed like... A small tiny little thing about her just to no it's um it's more over they remake her for each instance or something it's hard to explain i'll have to i'll have to source this later but i saw an interesting post about the way game freak develops their games it, does she say nebby get in the bag just that slightly bit <laughs> different every time you see her no no it's a it's hard to explain it oh, well. okay. <laughs> ah i thought it'd be interesting to know but i knew i wasn't gonna be good at explaining it my bad. So at the end, where would you rank? Because where would you rank Sun and Moon? Your um, I would probably, I, I, as as much as I enjoyed the game, I'd probably still rate it on the same bottom level as Platinum. Like, oh, I see. That Platinum and uh, Hoenn were never my jams, so to say. I I really like the pal or palette palette region. Kanto, Jojo, Kanto. Uh, Unova, uh, Kalos regions a lot more yeah. for whatever reason. I can see that. I, so. I think it's interesting because I, I always find that people don't like Kalos, but I know that you, Kalos or whatever, I know that you uh, pretty much like it a lot. Yeah, I, mean, I Clink Clank is your... <laughs> no, Clink Clank, Clank is from uh, Unova. Oh, Kalos, shoot. Oh, I flipped it. My bad. France, well, man. No, I, I, meant, I meant to say that. Unova is the one that people don't really like. <laughs> Which is, oh, I, yeah. I thought was strange because like, Troy, like when that game first came out, Troy was like, "This is amazing." I, I I think it's it's hard to explain. I think most of the, every time a new game comes out, the people I hear from are getting older as well. So, like, it's hard to explain the Pokemon phenomenon. Like, you know, was the like just under Kanto. Honestly, I mean, it's probably even equally as good as Kanto. Really, like red and blue, in my opinion. I like Kalos and all, but uh, I, let's try to wrap up the Pokemon discussion. In a bit. Yeah. But I like Kalos and all, but I, I I don't I don't know if I'd go back to it as much as um the other games for some reason. I, I don't know. I think when you look at it content wise, it doesn't really it, it, it's it's the step, but not the you know it, it's hard to explain that kind of feeling. I, I did enjoy Kalos though. I'm not saying I didn't like it. it yeah. Just, I, I also like the fashion thing. I think that's a great addition because <laughs> it's France. I all mean, right. as, as, long as, <laughs> as long as I get a, a, a black shirt that says Slayer on it, I'm all right, you know? The the one that you don't even have in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go mail you one sometime soon. <laughs> I've been I've been playing two more games. Well, we started up one more on Friday. Uh, we got back into FTL. Um, as I said to everybody, I was super excited to actually play that again finally after many years despite the fact that we did not accomplish a single gosh darn thing right but <laughs> uh, well but they, the, the doors got far <laughs> dude the doors were 
went all the way. I've never. That's it's like you rare. Stop saying uh, break on through to the other side. You've got <laughs> to say that each time. I guess. And then when the big boss came, you didn't break on through to the other side. The other side you saw was heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are putting doors. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was it was pretty fun. Um I definitely think the problem back then was that you kept like doing it each day. Yeah, and then switching I, to another game. Well, that was when I was you know, there's still I'm still experimenting obviously with the the Carl 101 show in a sense, but um like I've been trying to uh figure out um you know what would be best for the Carl 101 show to like have people coming back all the time and whatnot. So one of the ideas was is like you have to have that game that you know everybody comes back to every day, and that's why I did FTL initially was because I wanted FTL to be like the game that the Carl 101 show was kind of known for. But that kind of fell to not be okay. It's like it wasn't right. Something about it wasn't right. So it turns into uh, a lot of the same when yeah. you're like looking at it externally. Yeah, and I, I guess and that's I'm, what I, I was thinking. Like the Pikmin runs would be that too, but it seems like it, uh, the the fact that you kind of um, are going a little too hard on it, I think, makes it not the same experience too. Yeah, that you're looking for, for sure. Though Pikmin does draw in people, like me included. I suppose Pikmin is more my game, but like, I don't know. The past few times I've played Pikmin were kind of like blah. I was thinking about that actually recently, um, about attempting. <laughs> Not to do a speed run, so to say, but attempting to see if I can actually do a Pikmin-less loss run. Oh, it, boy. Yeah. So, wait, you have to drop a lot of your techniques, then, that you've yeah, pretty just much. been practicing. Everything's got to be, like, an analyzed and assessed as, as slowly as possible. That way, uh, you can get all the naysayers off your back, but it's going to be it's gonna be a struggle. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't think I've ever done a Pikmin uh, deathless one. But like, see, um... the the thing that I, I was gonna make it as special as possible, I'm hoping, is that I'm not gonna reset a day. If like if I lose, like it's it's over. It's a roguelike. Yeah, you basically roguelike, roguelike Pikmin. Pikmin. <laughs> that would be. I was saying that would be fun a long time ago. Uh, we were talking about joke battle royales, and I was like, you know what, Pikmin would kind of be fun. It, it'd be more like an EO game, though. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. Like a snake EO and uh, what is it? Oh no, slither EO, and then um, nope. it's the thing where you're like um, you're like this small thing, and then you eat things, and then you get bigger over time. Oh, I mean just like snake itself? No, there's a EO. I I, I call it EO because there's a lot of um, what do you call it? There's a lot of games that use that like dot io kind of uh, suffix. Oh, you, you I mean suppose. The online multiplayer games. Were yeah, there? yeah. Yeah, I don't see that. But basically, like thing, my but... view on the Pikmin one would be like you pick up all the stuff and then you um, you're competing with other, you know, captains. I don't know. Just just an idea. Hmm. <laughs> it didn't come over well, did it? I'm no, sorry. I, I don't understand what the heck you're really talking about. <laughs> but this is this is, it's happened think, twice now during this podcast. I think I, say I think some people like, do. What's he saying? <laughs> What's Speed saying? <laughs> Twice. We haven't even gone to the next topic yet. A <laughs> hundred captains drop into a planet. That'd be, that'd be something. It'd be a quick game of Pikmin, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think it'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> I got, I got one more, shop. I got one more game I've been playing. Um, I, this is yeah. the only game I've been playing off stream, and that's uh, Super Mario RPG. Ah, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I've been you tested um, you tested that game for your yeah, uh, your capture thing. Um, I I've been playing it just as a. I usually play a game like right before I go to bed for like a half hour just to kind of make me fall asleep, which it usually does. Um, and I've been doing a uh, a Gino Mallow run. Really? Was that? A, uh, well, I usually just play with Bowser and Peach. That's like the meta of the game. It's the oh yeah, characters. I guess so. Yeah. But, like, I figured, why not use Mallow and Gino? As I really a, like Gino, personally, so. I mean, it's, it, they're good, but, like, there's a lot of times where I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I really want Princess and Bowser. They're I noticed you play a lot of RPGs before you go to sleep. Is it because, wh why is that? Um, there, a lot of, well, like, Pokemon is the best example, because I can save whenever. <laughs> yeah, you're so, right like, about that. So, like, there gets to a point, like, where you you can't play anymore and if i'm stuck like in the middle of a level like what do i do you know 
And I'm usually playing mm -hmm. these games in bed itself, so I don't want to just fall asleep. Wait, you're playing the... I don't know your room setup, so you have, like, your TV on and you're playing uh, Super Mario RPG? No, I moved another TV over to that area. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> I like the idea that it's, like, you have a queen-sized bed and your TV's on the, <laughs> on the other side of it. <laughs> He he has streamed it. Um, I don't think that was um. It was that was, was that was before VOD. Yeah. Kind of. I don't think I have a VOD of that. Um, Oops. <laughs> but yeah, that that's uh, everything that I've been playing this past week. What about just your week in generals or? Well, I guess there's weeks left, in general. I guess there's Left for Dead Two that I've been playing a lot with Brian, the boys, if you will. <laughs> it seems like a lot of people have been falling out of playing that because um. I think I think it's fun, but it, there's definitely a point where you start kind of feeling like, all right, it's kind of feeling the samey. See, at least for, that's to me. For me and Brian, like it, it's not. Like we could just keep playing over and over again. The, the only problem that we just keep running into is that like, it's just loaded with hackers and cheaters. Yeah, I and get that. And it's, <laughs> it's just it's like all, every other game sometimes is like, a hacker shows up and it's like, all right, well that's cool, I guess. How many times have you left, fell asleep with the game on? Asked the GS. Um, a couple. I try really hard not to do that, especially if I'm holding a DS in my hand. Like I don't want it to right. fall off my bed or to sleep uh, on save, it. Uh, your save gameplay, uh, game time data is gonna be a little skewed. I, you know, I I stopped caring about that kind of stuff because of that reason. Like it just yeah, definitely. Whatever. If I have 130 hours or something stupid like that from falling asleep a couple too many times whatever but it's only uh, a good like way to just track how much time you've devoted to the game but even then i don't really it, it's fun to think about it but it's not important dolly says super Mar RPG. those must then i must have uploaded it i guess it must be before i uh started doing thumbnails for you yeah probably what was it now nah, probably yeah all right. So about your week, or is it to me? Do, do, do you have any games that you want to talk about that you've been playing recently? Obviously, you've been playing uh, a few on stream yourself. Uh, Mario Paint, for example, is one of them. Yeah, um, I'm I'm trying to mix that up, but I'm, I can't help but just draw sunsets and uh. Blue you do have a stuff. lot of issue with that, don't you? Just oh, here's another sunset by Speed Slasher. It looks great, but it's another sunset. Yeah, it's like it's like you know Bob Ross has drawn so many mountains. Like someone went and uh, counted how many episodes that he uh, painted a mountain in, how many times he painted a tree, and how yeah. many times he uh, yeah did all that. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I hope I don't. People aren't counting how many times they draw sunsets. Well, now they are. Uh, but something interesting. Um, uh, I need to ch I need to test this out before I stream it. But I found two games. Um, there are two other Mario paints that were on the uh, sixty four. One was not released. It was called, um, uh, like, Photopi or something. And it's like a photo editing kind of Mario thing with drawing. Mm -hmm. And then there's also Mario Artist. Hmm. And I'm hoping to get Mario Artist running because that one has mouse support, supposedly. Yeah. And it has more colors. So <laughs> I'm excited for that if that works out. Um, What else did I play on you played, stream? You played some Rune Factory. More of Rune that. Factory, you you bailed. Dolly and Nav were there for the whole shebang. I didn't so bail. When... I watched most of it. I watched you ro rolling around on that stupid man island thing. Oh, the golem? Yeah. The... I only learned at the end of that stream that you can press up to teleport off it. So every time I was playing, I would exhaust the life and then I'd lose a day because of it. Oh. I can't believe it. I guess it's my fault because I, sh I guess I should have restarted, but you know, um, I don't know if that's, I'm trying to think of what's the most popular game I've been um, trying to add on to my list. I'm thinking it, it's definitely Mario Paint, but yeah, I would definitely I say know. Mario Paint gets you a lot of people to show up. Uh, um, people... Surprisingly, what, di what didn't was Dark Souls 3 with Johnny on Saturday. <laughs> See, the problem with Dark Souls in general is I feel like it's just an overly saturated game, like in general. Like there's so many uh, people. everybody. I, it's one of those things where it's like Mario Maker. Like everybody does it, you know. I guess the thing is, there's different ways to approach uh, your run, and I think right now we're trying to figure that out. Like Evening's been enjoying it though, at least. <laughs> um, what else was there though? Um, 
Well, Gilbert Spider, you yeah. should go uh, follow Speed Slasher at twitch.tv slash Speed Slasher. He already is. <laughs> um, but thanks for the advertisement on the podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> White Mage Run has been going pretty well, considering I thought we would be failing. <laughs> um, I know I know a lot of people don't like watching Final Fantasy. That's that's fine. I mean, but I've been like enjoying it for myself. Like, it's I had one. a hard. I I, I, like one. I, yeah, I I couldn't even get past the stupid Earth Temple. Like, it took so long to even like have a decent attempt at the place that like it got me bored. So you're talking about <laughs> white mages, which have literally no attack power whatsoever. And I'm we're already pretty far after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's... but uh we ended that stream with a with two decisions we can go to the easy place or the hard place and i said let's go to the hard place and brightheart was like ah oh, i shouldn't have said that the hard place existed of course we would pick the silly place to die at <laughs> but i mean yeah it's been fun that that's been fun and then i guess the last thing i started playing was uh game dev tycoon i think people have been enjoying that yeah it's i don't know another I don't know why you're so good at that game. I always struggle every time I play it. It's kind of another like uh, creative mind game, like Mario Paint. So it allows me to be a little, you know, funnier with the game titles and all this other factors. I don't know. I, I guess I've just been real lucky. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm approaching it. Uh, so I just so, go with my gut. So you're saying uh, big wave games next next week is going to be uh, bringing out uh, the, I, I don't the think... twos? Toots. <laughs> you should have been the Toots family a... during Family Feud. What were you doing? Uh, so sorry, but there was, there was more than two family members on the family. Family members. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, though, um, with the... Well, what was I going to say? <laughs> I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I'm not doing that next week. Uh, I, I decided to kind of tone down the streams a little. I'll, I'll, I kind of want to cut it down to like three streams a week or four, depending. I don't know. I don't want to overbear people. Is I mean, I do. And it seems to work out fine for me. <laughs> yeah, but most of my you want to get that fifty. Of you you got to get that fifty, man. <laughs> well, that's why I'm doing Mario Paint. <laughs> it gets it gets the chicks. <laughs> oh, I love a man who plays some Mario Paint. <laughs> oh, that's simple. Well, But yeah, I guess that's all I've been playing. I haven't really been playing anything in my free time. No Dakuza uh, or... Uh... No, I mean, I already beat all of them. <laughs> I kind of want to play these newer games, but I, we just don't really... I don't know. I'm messed up. I've been playing Grand Blue, but I know you don't consider that a game because it's mobile. It's a gotcha. I mean, yeah, it uh, doesn't, doesn't count. Did I, I think I put, put something on my... Uh, what was it? My uh, backloggery. I haven't updated that in a while. <laughs> Have you updated it? Yours? Yeah, I just added Smoky onto it. Oh! What did I put? Uh, I did just put Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. Oh, well. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to think of games that I want to play and then do them off time. I've been thinking of picking up uh, newer games, but I'm also... Uh, that, that, though, though, um, what am I trying to say here? You did help a, a big amount with the mic. But I still don't really have much money on me. But I do want to buy some new games like Sekiro, Ace Combat. Th those games I'm looking into and Re Re uh, Resident Evil because a lot of people are streaming that. And I feel bad for not joining in. You have to finish spoiled. your Resident Evil 7 playthrough on Afternoon Casuals, okay? Well, <laughs> I I I'm going to draw the curtains here. Um, right after we did that session, Johnny was like, I went and beat the game. <laughs> I was like, then why why'd you do that? We're, we're playing it. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I thought it was cool. And I wanted to play it. <sighs> Thanks, Johnny. Well, it's now, been like now... a few years now. Get back into it. He probably doesn't remember anyways. <laughs> he remembers the, the weirdest things and then forgets things you just tell him, you know, 10 minutes ago. Like, I can't That's even get the... off Destiny Island. <laughs> go, go. Go finish your what you started, man. Okay. Speaking, uh, Guess let's. So. <laughs> it's not my game, by the way. Johnny brings it over, or well, brought it over. You know. Well, you gotta, you gotta borrow those game from Johnny then. <laughs> I wonder if he still has it, because he's the he's not like us. He likes to uh, trade. Likes in? to sell the game. Yeah, trade in. 
No problem with that. It's just that when you're... He, he, he collects other things, so... God. Get over it, Carl. <laughs> Come on now. I just, I just don't... I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny. You've only talked to Johnny once, but you have all these, like... <laughs> Have all these views on him already. I gotta, you know. But yeah, back back on back on topic, avoiding ignoring Johnny. I I really have to thank everyone for the uh, the mic and especially Carl. Uh, I also got the uh, you you see in the picture right there. There it is. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm... you can see I got like a round. I don't know if you're hearing that. Um, it's a pop filter kind of thing. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. you know spit doesn't go in and stuff like that. And. Uh, I'm treating this with extreme care, man. I'm putting it in a box and then putting it, you know, underneath my cabinet so that no one, no dirt gets in. I'm, I'm really being careful with this mic. <laughs> People picked the red mic and I was like, hmm, I guess it's cool. I'll go with it. I wouldn't have picked it myself. But that's just you would just pick black, I know. But yeah. it's like, I already had black. I wanted it to look like an upgrade <laughs> when I look at it, you know? I wanted Ferrari red. <laughs> What's wrong with the red? I don't like red. So, you're not the you're not the one streaming with it. What? What if? In your face. What if? I would have gotten white, but I know I I'd keep looking at it because it's so bright. Ah, uh, so what what else is there to talk about? I don't. Our weeks ourselves. Did, did you do anything yourself? Oh, no, I got other things I could talk about as far as a um, couple more things I've done for the past few weeks. But uh, uh, do you have any other games? That's not all the games you've been playing. Yeah, for the most part, I I should I should start playing games okay. in my off time <laughs> that I have a lot of. Um, all right. <laughs> so we I I have a few things that we could talk about since. Uh, I don't I don't think we need to talk anymore about uh, your streams. I think we kind of covered that already, right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right, it's fair. Take that. Um, I, the, Get the, that out of the way. We we can talk about for a little bit uh, the the return of uh, music streams to a newest and utmost strange degree and whatnot. Right, right. I thought I I, I think they're pretty cool, honestly. The, I think the cam does help out. Yeah, I and agree with I that. I think that's uh, yeah something you were focusing on too is like. How do I go about this without showing my face? We did see a little beard, though, folks. Stay tuned. <laughs> you might see a mouth. I was just thinking about shaving that today, too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, then, so then people are like, well, why does your face face not look like your uh, draw face? No, actually, it had nothing to do with that. I was playing tuba, and I was like, this is annoying. Oh. Actually, more so my mustache than anything. <laughs> But, Both uh, inaccurate. I mean, I guess I guess I don't have spiky hair at the moment because I'm wearing hats. But you know, are you wearing the boy hat? I'm wearing no hat right now because oh, my head's so hats. big that if I wore the hat, like I wouldn't be able to put the headphones on. <laughs> but uh, hats are. Uh... <laughs> I, I'm I'm always concerned every time I do the music streams because it's like I don't I don't know what people necessarily want and I don't know how really good my skill level necessarily actually is like i don't know if people are just i don't want you guys to be there just because you feel like you you feel entitled to be there like i want you to be there because you're actually enjoying it you know so when i get a comment like it's, from evie when he's like your guitar sucks and your singing sucks <laughs> it's terrible you know, it's like does oh. he say that no he, he didn't <laughs> <laughs> why are you using him then <laughs> Why are you putting the blame on Henry? You put you put him under the bus for nothing. I know, I did. No, he was um he actually was like I I I'm gonna be super honest. He was like, uh, <laughs> your guitar playing is fine, but your singing is something to be desired. I guess I don't know. That's kind of what I got from it. I think you have to find your range, and that's definitely hard because I don't even know mine. I mean, I'm I'm kind of in within tolerance of my range for most of those songs too. Um, some of it also has to just do with just basic practice. Um, right, sing in the shower. <laughs> no. What do you mean? No, I don't, I don't do that. That's, that's that's weird to me. That's pro strat. <laughs> that, that's just weird to me. I don't know. Like, shower. Like, I don't know. Next, you're gonna say singing in the rain is weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't like just being out in the pouring rain. Maybe if it's like a little light rain, sure. And it's got to. It, it can't be just freezing cold rain too. That's not okay. But it's dramatic. 
right? No. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, I think it's interesting that you're not really doing video game songs. At least um, the past few. The past the two. Well, the problem with, like, them. video <laughs> game songs is that, like, it's... it's I, I have a couple more, actually, for next time. Um, so we'll be... Uh, um, definitely more of those, but not portal I, songs. I think what's interesting though, is that, um, those, like I saw some new people, right? But it, I, I, I don't know if they got the impression that you actually just do video games for the most part. Yeah. See, <laughs> you might I, just think you do, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I branch out too much. I think sometimes. So like, I don't know when they'll, it, it, like if they follow, I don't know when they come back. They, they might, they'll come back for the music for sure. Probably. Right. But it's like. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's this one is... subscribe. I mean, I got two followers between that stream and now, so maybe question. You mark? don't know how to read the algorithm. <laughs> no, I don't. I if I could read. I mean, if anybody could really read the algorithm, then we'd be millionaire. Hexagon Inc. would actually be giving out paychecks. <laughs> I want to say um, that I think that the music variety is definitely pretty cool, though. You have like. Uh, these dramatic songs and you have like faster songs yeah and that that one song oh, shoot I, I i've been listening to it quite a bit um oh, <sighs> buffalo the, trace buffalo yeah buffalo trace like it, the song is completely different it is isn't it but i like i like i, I kind of like your cover more because they kind of changed like the tempo a little or something it, like the, the the shift is weird for me and i think yours you kind of kept it the same no, and that's what really made it different. See, man. No, I meant same as in you didn't shift. Well, and here's the other thing too. Like, if I if I truly wanted to play that song, like I'd really appreciate having a band to play it with, because then I'd switch over to electric. And I think, <laughs> like, part of that song, I think what makes it really like sing out is just the the heavier guitars and stuff. And like, I, I think what's cool is that um in, in that song though. Like, I couldn't really understand what they're saying because they mixed their voice with the guitar. Yeah, it was a trend setting. And you know, I was like, oh, I see what I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> but it's still a cool effect on their part. Yeah. I'm sure. From from what so, I've from, been able to kind yeah. of read about that song, all it was is just like some trip to Kentucky, I think. And nothing, really? Yeah, no, because um, Buffalo Trace is a, an alcohol um, out of somewhere, con uh, out of one of the Kentucky distilleries down there. It's like, it's a heavy liquor if i'm not mistaken like mm, oh. something evening would drink <laughs> so um I, I don't know if it was scott lucas is the one who's basically local h um he wrote the song and all that stuff and uh um, he's from chicago as well so i know for a fact that like he probably traveled from chicago to somewhere in kentucky to you know make the song <laughs> it, well, yeah to drink basically probably have you seen him perform at all or does he not do oh yeah no i've seen local h three or four times um oh really yeah it's 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 unique they're kind of like uh the white stripes in a sense where they only have uh a guitarist and a drummer so they mm. kind of have to make it work in a sense um recently i read that they now have a full band which i yeah, thought it's was a... weird but i couldn't uh, tell if that song was a was it not a full band? Was there no like bass guy and stuff? <clears throat> so when they do um, the studio recordings, like I think it's kind of just fair game for anything. I see. And um, so I think he does like he gets an actual guitar and a bass guitar and like does it. But like when he does live stuff, he's got um, two jacks on his guitar. One goes straight into a bass amp, and the other one goes into the guitar amp. And when you look at the pickups um, on how they're set up. Uh, He's got like a, a bass pickup and two guitar pickups, so that like the two bottom strings um, end up getting rewritten down an octave lower essentially through a way of a pedal. I see. So basically, you get that bass sound. Well, that's cool. I didn't even know what, it's, what you're talking about until you wrapped it up there. It's cool in a sense, but the problem is, is that you lose the uh, range of the guitar, for well, example. Well, base that... it's it's a little getting a little technical, like to the point where it's gonna go over probably a lot of people's heads, but. <laughs> there's 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 strings and basses aren't generally supposed to play chords just because of how low the register is like you just if you play a chord that low um you end up kind of getting a more garbled sound because it just can't mix like there's this point in the staff that no two chords should be like they shouldn't be that close and that's kind of the unfortunate thing of what happens when you have um a setup like that is that you can't play the two bottom strings um, in unison with each other without having a little bit of garbage mess. 
if that makes any sense. I, I heard a plane going over. <laughs> that was probably <laughs> my understanding of that. But I think I kind of get the sense you... Um, no, I, I do, but I don't know how to word, reword it. it. It's the kind of thing that, I, like... You, like, okay, you, you've been... Obviously, you played the piano before in your life. A little. Have you ever <laughs> just, like, tried to play some chords on the very bottom notes, like, on a full-size piano? Oh, so it kind of, like, gets lost in translation is what you're saying. Kind of, yeah. The same thing kind of uh, happens on, when you have, like, a bass guitar doing the same thing. It's just, like, this doesn't work. And it kind of... It ruins the song's texture, in a sense. Yeah, I I can't I don't have enough grasp on um music to really, <laughs> but I I think I get it I think I get it it just I'm sure there's to... a video out there on YouTube that says <laughs> why bassists don't play chords, it probably explains it exact a lot better than I can really explain it, probably by just I, way I of just showing I, like, like I make some songs too they're not they're not the best but I don't I don't do chords with a bass if I ever add a bass yeah i do like dun, 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 or something like that i don't know i don't know what song that was dun, 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 dun. that's uh that's the dungeon song i suppose but yeah those were dungeon the song <laughs> those were sounds like a blue song now <laughs> Where are we going now? Where are we going? I don't know. Is there anything else that we need to talk about? About our weeks and no, our days no, no, and our lives? With that just and about music? No, yeah, just the music streams in general. Well, it's it's mostly you, ain't it? I mean, I'm, well, it's, I mean, it's kind of you. You're the audience, so you're the one that saw the other side of it. You were on I, When we were breaking through the other side, you were on the other side, you know? You didn't. You didn't play Harvest Moon songs. You played <laughs> Neil Young. <laughs> like, I, yeah, it's still a Harvest Moon song. Big upset he's about to forget. I think I think that's a good song. Uh, like, if I'm gonna say the songs that you really did well, I think that one and um and uh, I keep forgetting Buffalo Trace. Th those are really good. Yeah. And I'm so, uh, you were surprised too that people really enjoyed Buffalo Trace. I was shocked. I thought you guys would hate that song. Like I kind of did. You should it. play more obscure songs. I, I guess. Just, I think I think you really need to work on the was well, it still live? Because you don't know it, where your voice wants to be. Yeah, base. Well, I, I put that in the I, obviously I left that in the request section as um right. all right here we go whatever it doesn't not gonna I'm not gonna feel bad if I butcher this so it's on the to be learned section so it's not been translated over into the. Uh, I'm ready to do this, which I probably just sort of left it there and not even done the request. But who am I to deny a person a request? <laughs> and the Last of Us song was definitely hard too. Dude, it, it just sounds hard off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, oh, he's gonna cover it. Of course, his hand's shaking. And speaking of Dolly's asking, were you nervous about it? Yeah, I was super nervous. That uh, I'll probably be just as nervous next week too. So, um, just it's just a different avenue that I've. It's a different avenue on Conversation Street. Those it's a different man. boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> On the boulevard of broken dreams. <laughs> yeah, that's that was the other thing that I was really kind of annoyed about. It was just the, the failure to scroll properly. <laughs> I was like, oh man, is this a remix where he keeps playing yeah. that thing? I kept saying, I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> yeah. I, just, like, turn away from the mic when you say, oh shit. <laughs> Pretend it's not a mistake. <laughs> See, Woot here, he's just like, I hated it. I hated it. It was terrible. It, it is taste, and I think that's the thing I was talking about earlier. It, for example, I know that Woot's a big fan of VGM, right? Just the genre, you mean? Yeah, you know, just... Uh, well, Chris is the same way, the... I think. Who? Chris. What? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, he, he does song rips, too, so... Yeah. But yeah, I think that's I think that's where you might find a little dissonance. I think you can need to balance it out with a little more just songs from video games too. Yeah, and I think next time we'll definitely have more video game songs as well. But um, it, it's, the problem is is that like if I look at all the songs that I've covered throughout the years on the music box, like none of those are single guitar segment songs like at all. 
Like and the closest of... ones are like your like acoustic kinds, like uh, Pallet Town. Yeah, little... and usually I do those with like three guitar parts in them. So even like it's it's not particularly something I can just readily do a lot of the times. Right. It changes a lot of how the song is played as well, but you know, I, there, I know. there's there's more. I was there. There's gonna be more added. Right. As, as so I'm looking forward to them. Each week it continues on. It'll just be like Super Soul Brothers, where I do <laughs> chat rap. <laughs> that was. I did. That was pretty fun. That was. That was something. I was trying to get you to say. I was trying to get you to say speed is cool. No. no, no. Just, speed says speed is cool. It's like darn it, loophole. Well, the hardest one was uh, Evie just started did putting you, like la da di, and I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, what a jerk. And I'm not and kidding went, about that, Evie. You're an actual jerk for that. And then I went, <laughs> I basically typed out what I would normally say to you in a conversation. Uh, but, but let's look at this from uh, like a far a review then. Um, so Mario Party, which I, we forgot to talk about that. Oh, yeah. Mario Party Mondays. Mario Party Mondays. Um, you enjoying this kind of like you have set days for these games like Mario Party Mondays. Uh. I was gonna say FT Island. Uh, no, FT Island. Uh, yeah, uh, FTL. And will you always have FTL and a uh, music stream? Probably. Together? Um, I I kind of like doing it the Friday nights. It seems like everybody Wendy's Wednesdays. Can't forget about that. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I I, I kind of like the, the the setup of those two things being on Fridays. Yeah, what kind of gave you the idea of doing that though? Having like these set days for things. Well, like. It just kind of started becoming a thing. And then you started doing it, too, with uh, Mario Paint Mondays as well. So it was like, people seem to like it and kind of brings them, even if they want to come and watch one thing, at least it's one day a week where they'll be remem reminded of it in a sense, I suppose. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, chat viewership has seemed to have gone up a little bit since I started doing that stuff. So that's, that's an indicator of, yes! <laughs> Man, though, you know, I hate it when you say... Man, it's a little quiet. He's like, I'm typing as much as I can. <laughs> and he still says it's quiet. <laughs> I say so much stuff. And he's like, you know, this chat's kind of dead tonight. Where is everyone? Yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I, I guess that's mostly it. Uh, what You said you had more topics to talk about, though, right? Um, yeah. Besides and, uh, our, like, main topic thing. So I have... Um... We can talk about one more thing that I did uh, throughout the, the week, I suppose. I did this uh, yesterday, actually. And I, and I have a couple uh, pictures to post about it here, too. I was going to actually post this on Twitter, but I figured, hey, why not just post it on on uh, on, on, on the good old uh, podcast? So I, I went mini-golfing yesterday. It was Ooh. 55 degrees out. A little chilly out there for mini-golf. <laughs> but I went to the legendary parking skill golf. Up in uh, Lincolnshire, Illinois. If anybody's interested and needs something to do, if they go to Illinois, um, it is rated as one of the top five best mini golf courses in like the country. Really? Uh, yeah, because number one, it's got moving things. Like, uh, let, let me let me let me show you. Uh, uh, I, I got the stream open, so you could just post yeah, it there. So I'll, I'll post this one in there. Um, and then I, I apologize to the people who are only listening to this. I, I can try to explain or. Wordfully we'll paint a picture for you. Yeah, they wordfully explain the pictures that I'm posting in there. So this is one of the, the courses or the, uh, the the holes, I should say. Um, if you What's look at the pic on? if you look at the picture on the right there, uh, behind the the obelisk, if you for lack of a better term, um, there is where the uh, hole starts, and you must hit it into the obelisk, which will be carried up through elevator. And then if you switch over to the picture on the left, that's the top of the obelisk, um, where the little bridge is, and where the ball will drop down. Which will drop down into the going back to the right picture into the loop de loop that goes all the way up and then drops it back down into the hole right below it. Um, so that was one of the cool levels or cool holes. Cool levels. levels. <laughs> cool. Um, when you've played too many video games. Um, so it's got a working elevator. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, dude. Um, dude, Bird, Bird City. That's a good place for a bird to live. Elevator up to the pin suite. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then there was this cool castle level. This one was pretty cool. I like the design of it. 
Um, it, <laughs> how they do it is like there's three exits that like come out of the cat. No, this one had two exits. Um, so you kind of like hit it into the right side or the wrong side, basically. Um, so so there's that that one, but um, of all of them, everybody seems to enjoy uh, this hole right here. The legendary <laughs> Sears Tower or Willis Tower or however you want to call it, Tower. Level. Well, I, did, I had to refresh the screen because I was actually pretty behind. <laughs> oh, I see now. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you hit it up into the tower and then it drops down below into the hole, basically. Like uh, the Citadel. <laughs> yeah, sh sure. Um, <laughs> there, there's actually two golf courses there, too. Um, so one of the other levels there, too, was this Mount Rushmore level, which uh, I did not get to play. I kind of wanted to play it, actually. Right, but, but I I thought it was I I could only take the picture from a distance, otherwise I'd have to hop the fence and be a, a rebel. Without um, a cause. <laughs> I don't think there was. Uh, I don't think I got any other pictures. I I haven't played much mini golf myself. I think the most I did there's this place nearby called like John's Ultimate Pizza Place or something. I don't know if that's just a local thing or not. And, it's and, not too local, but. And then after <laughs> after we went to the golf course, um. If you look in the, the 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 center middle there, we did in fact go to McDonald's, so it was a very wind day. Oh, the the Mario. Oh, yeah, sorry. The, <laughs> the picture's got the stream's got to load up. Yeah, McDonald's. What'd you get, boss? I, I just got a chocolate shake. We 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 were all thirsty after our our uh, golfing day. <laughs> Um, Sounds pretty fun. But yeah, I mean, that, that those those were just kind of a couple of the pictures I, I managed to take while I was out there. But uh, uh, there's 30 Did you win? I tied for first. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> it, it was not okay. Um, Yeah, there's 36 holes. Um, obviously, there's two two courses. Uh, definitely, if you're in the area, go check it out. It's still a lot of fun. Um, the only thing I, I, I was complaining about was um, none of us scored anything higher than a four. Um, you, you, how are you keeping track of the points? Because isn't four a bad thing in golf? Or no, I mean four. Like obviously, golf. Like you want a one. Hole in ones. Oh. Yeah. But like, our our average was like two and a half for most holes. Probably even kind of closing in on two more than three. Oh, that's what you. Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah. So it, it it was easy to say the least. Like nobody had challenges. Yeah, um, I don't think I I would probably be a lower score. Because I'm not really good at golf. No, fact, that, that's, I... that's the thing. Like, we're not really all that. Like, this is the first time I mini-golfed in, I don't know, probably, like, six or seven months. So, it's like, that was too easy. You know, I was you... doing it with one hand when, yeah, I, when and, I did it. And I was talking, <laughs> like, my brother was like, at some point, the reckoning has to begin where, like, somebody gets one of those holes where it's, you know, they choke. And then it's like, all right, I got seven on that hole. And it's like, oh. And then we all laugh at that person. <laughs> But like that just it just didn't happen. Surprising. I don't I don't know what was what was up with that. I don't know if we were just all on fire that day or what not. But like I technically scored under par. Um, that's not like our PGA golf game that we had back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, and that didn't happen in Dream Course, did it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. But yeah, there there. Speaking of seven, there's this point. There's this last hole. And the hole is, like, so there's two, like, upwards curves, and the hole's, like, wait, sorry, there's one upward curve. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's like a bump, right? And the hole's in the middle? My friend and I spent, like, three minutes just trying to think, think, think it in, and if we yeah. were to count, we would probably, like, be 20-plus, you know, like, ex extreme boogie, bogey. No. <laughs> Disappointing well, bogey. Yeah, yeah. Usually, well, it's, it's you just get a triple bogey, and then anything after that is plus whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Squall shows anyway, up. He's was, just like whatever. It was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go well. There were kids there too, and I was like, oh, these these guys are not pro golfers. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like they're like hawks. Those kids at uh like pizza places with you know <laughs> thing arcadey like things to do. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you, you never had the same experience. Not particularly, no. I mean, I, I guess it would be like going to Chuck E. Cheese. I, don't, I, I mean, technically speaking, I never really went to that many arcades back in the day. You know. Hmm. Like, well, it's not the only there arcade. Are two kinds of arcades, really. <laughs> before Galloping Ghost really opened up, the only arcade I could really think of that was like 
worthwhile to go to was Dave and Buster's. <laughs> and like, but, I don't know, you, you win tickets at a place like that. You don't really play like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'm saying, I was going to say, there's two kinds of like, um, there's two kinds of arcades. One's where you're, it's uh, ticket heavy, you know, like Chuck E. Cheese, I guess that counts. Um, and round one has both. It has tickets and then like fighting games and game games, you know? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, that... I'm not good at golf. Is the end statement there? I don't, you know, I don't even really know if anybody's just like good at golf. Like I was playing. Uh, we were playing once on an actual, like a full, a real golf. Um, oh, I've never done that. And uh, we, we, some guys like a, a a dad and his son caught caught up to us, and we were we were a group of four, and they were a group of two. So you know, like the cardiest thing is to let the the faster party go through. Just plus, it gives us a little bit more time every time we take a hole to like you know be mad at it. <laughs> but they were like, they went through and we watched him hit, and the dad was like, "Yeah, I don't know why I play this game. I suck at it." <laughs> so I think I what Carl means is uh like no people who aren't golfers. There's no one who's just like, "Yeah, I do it on the side. I'm pretty good at golf," you know? Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if any of my friends are good at golf. Because I had to ask. <laughs> Golf is expensive unless you're like... <laughs> it's not that expensive. I mean, it's one of the more... It, it's the reason it's like... Well, I mean, okay, so games. like... I, I live probably 15 minutes from the legendary golf course uh, in Medina, Illinois. I know exactly how to get to it, too. Um, it's like the premier golf course. It's like, you know... Um, you have to be like a solid millionaire in order to even golf at that place. It's like... Five hundred thousand dollars a year for membership, and then it's like ten thousand dollars to golf the course. Uh, like, it sounds like working at Hexagon Inc. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So it's you know there there are other golf courses like we go out in into the into nowhere land to play you know five dollar golf. 18 holes where they don't really take care of the course. They take care of the course. They don't like do a solid job taking care of the course, you know? Right. So like, you know, nobody goes there so you can have time to like line up your shot as best as you can. And when you whiff a couple times, because you're just not that good, you know, that those are the places you got to go to. Yeah, definitely. So you don't want to spend 5,000 to look bad. <laughs> yeah, no, no. And like my golf clubs, I literally went to Goodwill and I spent probably five bucks at most to buy a whole entire set of clubs. I mean, we're talking right. woods, we're talking irons, we're talking wedges, and we're talking a putter. You know, and the bag that I got, somebody left like a hundred golf balls in there. So, I mean, I'm gonna be fine on golf balls for a while. <laughs> so, realistically I mean, speaking, it's the thinking man's game. Yo, yeah, okay. <laughs> that wasn't on the list in Family Feud. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, but like there was baseball <laughs> that's a moment, so. not but yeah so like it it is expensive but it kind of isn't too if you just do it as cheaply as possible yeah i mean you could also just go to a park and dig holes and then... i'm sure people are gonna look at you weird but yeah. at least you get some practice in Right? <laughs> no? No one else has done this? I mean, I haven't. <laughs> what else did you do for uh, for the fun times? D did the arcade trip happen when we didn't, when we weren't on podcast? I... Yeah, I guess it technically did. Um, we went there for my birthday, so that was after the 17th, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess we could talk about that, too, a little bit. Not, I, I don't know if there's much else to talk about. Obviously, the place that I went to is called Galloping Ghost uh, Arcade in uh, Brookfield, Illinois, for anybody that's wondering. Um, they uh, How the system works there is that it's um, they have over 700 games, and they have unlocked the credits by way of just push the button, and you get a credit to play the game. Um, the, the way they do it is that, you know, quarters are, are pumping quarters into an arcade game just isn't enjoyable by people anymore and people would rather pay fifteen dollars just that whole run of the place so that's um how it is you know you, you spend fifteen dollars and we were there for five hours playing arcade games i mean there are lines I mean, here i have pictures uh from the tweet that i that i made uh here they are 
Uh, let me see if I can just slip them in there. Just schlock the tube, as so, they tell Freeman. So, to do. They're, they're not the best pictures, but uh, here, here's here's a game from one of them. This is uh, uh excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. This is the first Funky Fighter, which. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of uh, the buttons, I don't think. Um, but how it works is that there's like nine buttons on the, on the, the thing, and it's laid out in like a, 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 a three by three grid. And literally all the game you do, uh, like all you do in the game is a shark shows up in one screen, like one of the nine sections, and you hit the button to stop the shark. Sometimes like they variate between um, like having to tap the button as fast as possible and... <laughs> So it, I, I thought it was pretty fun, but like, um, what's the percentage there? What do you mean by percentage? There's like a hit percentage there on the, on the right. Uh, oh, like how accurate were you were in getting all the buttons, like all the people, from, oh, okay. or all the the sharks taken down, essentially. Um, right. Unfortunately, I, I had the worst camera on my phone, so you have to excuse the quality of this picture. But here's uh, like one of the pictures of the place. Um, I, but you can kind of get the gist of like this is all the games that are like in just one small tiny section of the whole place. I mean, it's just old, rows and rows of games to be played. I think I'm familiar with some of the. It's hard to tell, yeah, from the picture. No yeah. problem. <laughs> and it's really hard to take pictures of uh, arcade games too because the lights kind of mess up the camera too. But again, I have an, I have a Galaxy S5 and it is the crappiest phone I've ever used. And I say that just because. I've never really just had a good phone. I've been thinking about investing in a, a, a Pixel Three, honestly. But I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable on phones. But whenever I go with Johnny to a place, he's like, "Look at this cool phone." Oh, I should switch to this one, the Google uh, Flippity Dip. And I was like, "I don't know what the heck you're talking about." <laughs> give me the, give me the flip phone. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, definitely a, a fun place to go hang out if you're also in the Illinois area. Guess I have to write this down. <laughs> Guess I have to plan a trip to Illinois for no good reason. <laughs> and then we never hung out. Maybe I'll show up. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe I'll show up in real life and I'll be like, how'd you find my house? You know. <laughs> <laughs> just have just happen to be around the area. I didn't I didn't search. I didn't try to reference the, the video where you throw the, the the fire thing out and try to find the location on Google Maps or anything. <laughs> no, I'm just here. <laughs> uh, um, so any any other topic? It's it's hard to it's hard, it's hard to transition from these topics. I I don't. I, I, that's all I got as far as my the past few weeks go. I don't. I haven't really done anything else aside from that. So I've uh, just been working on getting the stream all, all that much more better. So if anybody if anybody can help, much appreciated. Here, I'll send you. Um, I'll send you some things about my. Because uh, I didn't really do much, but my sister was off last week, so we decided, oh, let's let's see these like random places. So we went to like this uh, K barbecue stop, and uh, here's uh, here I'll send it to you if it, if it loads. Uh, here. Here's me eating some kimchi. I hope you, hope you enjoy that. There's me going mm, kimchi, <laughs> and then uh, that's at a K barbecue stop that. Uh, We've always passed, but we're like, hmm, maybe we'll try this out. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So I have, Give a lot ask, of risk I, I have to ask a question. So, like, do you just, like, say to someone, like, one of your friends, like, hey, I want you to take this picture of me eating K-Barbecue. That's my sister taking a picture. Oh. I was like, hey, they call me Kimchi Kevin, you know? <laughs> You're the kimchi. And then here's me in a different store. <laughs> oh, here's me at a different store eating more kimchi. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna put another of the same. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, <laughs> fine. But then, okay, how about this one? This one's good. This one's great. Uh, there, there's this like boba place you went to, and they just have this weird cow chair. And then my sister's like, "Yeah, of course he's gonna go sit on it and try to look cool." <laughs> I guess on, uh, a, on a cow chair, no less. I guess chat has to don't I look a, cool? And make a decision. Is 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 he cool? Because uh, Brian's been harping on Bur burgundy pants. Was like, hey. Look at this look. This that's burgundy pants, baby. That's burgund. I personally I hate just realized it's gonna be what? I personally hate those pants. Well you hate a lot of things. Yeah, but I, <laughs> but you, you already know the reason why I hate them, so You hate red. Yeah, so there we go. 
This you hate me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that too. Ah, uh, thanks, Adam. Gives guy Adam's money. got my back. Gives guy Adam's like money for pants. a microphone, and he goes and buys a red one. I didn't buy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I did not buy pants at all. Hi, Brian. I've had that? those pants beforehand. You guys have done it. Whatever. How long? How long are you gonna keep it on the stream? <laughs> I just took it off. Calm down. Okay, it's funny because I was like, "Uh oh, wait, this is gonna be uh, like fossilized onto YouTube." <laughs> But then again, there's always the picture of me going, hmm, look at my mic. Maybe. I don't I don't know. But yeah, we hit up a lot of locations, and I definitely enjoyed that that K barbecue the most, but there's some other good ones. We also went to Soup Plantation because she was like, you know, I keep passing by it. I don't know. I guess that we should try it. And I was like, yeah, we'll try it. I tried it before, and I was like, it's okay. Soup. And she went, we went there, and she's like, oh, I didn't like it. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Just... At least you don't know. Soup is just something that, like, every time I look at soup, I'm just so not uh, interested in it. I don't know why. There's more than soup at Soup Plantation. In fact, when I'm I went sure last there is, time, but like, I don't, it was I don't like know. my friend was like, "Oh, I like everything, but the soup." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, thanks, Josh." <laughs> I do like being a, an attention center. It's fun being that. <laughs> Somebody finally said it. <laughs> what are you trying to say <laughs> mr well this is my stream you know <laughs> this is the car 101 show you know <laughs> you haven't said that lately but it might happen again soon <laughs> this isn't the, the speedy sunday this is this is car 101 show well it's true it is maybe i'm in every picture because <laughs> it's, it's because i wanted to be in the picture it's like, because my sister doesn't like taking pictures of herself or anything, so it's like, well, <laughs> whatever. I, I was with my friends there, but I don't have their permission to post it either. And my sister's probably, wait, she just said, oh, okay, why is she messaging me right now? I thought, I thought my sister was messaging me because I heard, she heard me talking about them. <laughs> you better not be talking oh, about she, just heard, she, just, she said, I'm a shower, so if Josh comes, I can't get him the switch. Also, stop talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> See, the walls in my, my house are thin. See, and she also, I mean, you got the same problem, you know? My mom was like... She also called me a bad word, so... <laughs> it starts with a B. Let's keep going here. All right. Oh, so she, I think that's... And she just said crunch. <laughs> crunch. Crunch. All right. Can, how, but before, before we end here... Do I have to explain crunch? Because we keep mentioning it, and we no one knows the. Okay, so so one one day I don't, I don't know if this was actually on a stream or not, or if this was no. Just, I think yeah, this might have been a no. We were playing Rust. You're playing Rust. Yeah. Rust. Um, and uh, Speed was just kind of hanging out, like because we were just pretending to play. Yeah, we were just having downtime, I guess. And um, his sister calls him, and he puts her on speakerphone, and all her sister wanted to. All his sister wanted to know was if he wanted, or if she, yeah, if he wanted anything from what was it, McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> and and Speed, instead of being like, oh yeah, I want you know like a, a quarter pounder with you know a, a Coke or something, he just goes, I want something with crunch. <laughs> you know the the crunch, and she's like, what are you talking about? What is crunch? You you know the crunch crunch, <laughs> and then. <laughs> You know, time passes, and then she comes home, and she's like, here's your crunch, and it's, it's a McFlurry. <laughs> I was like, no, I wanted a... What did I want? I don't even know what I wanted. I'm a... I guess I knew what crunch was back then, but I don't know what it is anymore. It's probably, like, fries. I don't know. I don't know. I will never know what crunch was. <laughs> that conversation was lost to the eternity okay. basically check check this out <laughs> check what out <laughs> do we need like a do we need like a what do you call it uh, imdb no that's not it what is it so i've created tv tropes <laughs> we need tv tropes <laughs> so so now so now every time speed comes up with a new word i'll just add it to uh, exclamation point speed vocab <laughs> So we got but none of them are like we got crunch. None of them are like defined. I know that's just the funny part. 
What are, what are other things I just say? Um, I, I see like I see like the ding dang. <laughs> I haven't said that lately though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I do say a lot of hoopa scooch on your. No, oh, there. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! You're right. I do say hoopa scooch quite a bit, don't I? Uh, the hoop. Is it U H or A? It's a thing I say out of my mouth. I don't. I guess it's like this. It's a uh, hoopa scooch. <laughs> like, like there, there. Uh, okay, yeah. I I, I use C H instead of. A. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Hopscotch. <laughs> pay, pay, pay chat pay attention to the words that my mouth say. <laughs> it's pretty important. Pretty important. Where are we in our podcast uh like uh I I guess normally I was run for like 2 2 hours or so. Uh, yeah, I um I, I would say we're probably like an hour and 15. All right, we're still good on time. So, uh, uh, what what other topics are are we gonna move on to? Our uh... Uh, do do you want to talk about Kirby Night? <laughs> oh right, the the dingle dang that we had to talk about. Um, but <laughs> <We've> got... <laughs> anyway, Kirby Night was pretty fun. All I, right, I, that, that's the first. Oh, sorry, you, you write it down. <laughs> no, we <laughs> added it in. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Kirby <laughs> Night was fun. That was the <laughs> that was the first stream where you had the guests on it, right? Okay. Yeah, it is <laughs> is the is the first stream I decided to um branch out a little bit on the night instead of doing just how fast can I beat all the games? Um, add a couple of extra things into which I think really uh, I think people mostly enjoyed. Um, I'm I'm finding the problem with the nights is that it's. It's a little lackluster in the beginning because nobody's usually around at like one o'clock. But like, yeah, that's once... a big problem. The, yeah, the and, whole and everybody kind of start. Everybody shows up kind of around more like the six, seven o'clock time. Basically, when I normally stream. Do you think that you'd push it back? I think that might work. I'm but nervous. Also, I'm just kind of nervous about pushing it back because I, I, you know, when I start at one, like, there are times where I feel like at some point I'm going to probably end the stream at three or four o'clock in the morning, which is when I normally go to bed. But right. like, and I don't want it to be kind of gameathonish as well. Um, I, I, I usually, though it, it surpasses it kind of. Yeah, and usually around four o'clock, especially with the nights, because they're not as like funny in a sense as the gameathons are. Like, I, I don't want to make myself fall asleep. Right. Or be so tired and boring that like nobody wants to watch too. So, um, I don't think it's... since you played a lot of games. Um, how, how do you feel about that workload? By the way, compared to other nights. Uh. I, will, I, I mean, I have no pro like. All it is is just turn on a game and play it. You know, at right, some point, it just kind of like switching the um, switching from game to game. I, I guess in general. Well, with the, the, with the Kirby collection, I mean, like four out of the five games that I played by myself were on one singular CD, and the fifth game was literally just switched to another game. So, oh, I guess so. Okay, never mind about that then. No, um, it's never usually just too difficult they're too terribly hard for that kind of stuff but um, right. how do you feel about this night stacked up to the others though because um, I, I definitely think it's pretty fun the only thing is i think it was a little bit on all around on just the lacking viewership in a sense was the only thing i kind of got from it uh, i mean as far as like the fun kind of went i think it started out slow and then it picked up right when we got to probably kirby 64 and onward right um, and that's when we did, you know, uh, multiplayer games and Kirby Epic Yarn went over really fantastically. I thought everybody seemed to really enjoy that game. But uh, I feel it's... like I feel like Saturdays are just kind of cursed though lately. <laughs> I... Like I'm never around for Saturdays, and then if I am, it's like I can't. Really... Well, that that's why I started or stopped streaming on Saturdays too, is because like a lot of the times I'd stream on a Saturday and it felt like viewership was really low. It's just, um... Have you ever considered of swapping it to Sunday, and then just kicking me off for that? Or something. Um, I thought about it, but I I don't I don't, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to gauge. Plus, we'll, we'll we'll ask later. I think it's a good thing to gauge for like the one after Paper Mario Night, which we'll talk about later. Yeah, at, a, at another podcast down the road. <laughs> so, yeah, back to that question though. How do you feel like it's stacked up? 
uh, despite uh, viewership aside, like yourself, like um, um I, I think I think as far as fun, um, maybe not any better or worse than the past few. Maybe a little bit more fun since we did play the multiplayer games. Right. Um, but and I based my I base the success of events based on how people are reacting to it in a sense. You know, when I see people are actually having fun, enjoying themselves, and wanting to be there. Like, that's the most important thing I see. I mean, you know, viewership is a, a thing, or viewer count is a thing, I should say, but, like, you know, if you have 30 people and nobody says anything, like, are they all robots? You know, that's why, 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 why it's like, they, why are they there? Viewers. Who, is, who is there? Do I know who's there? Are they even people that are there? Why are they watching? I don't know. But I don't Beep, know. Boop, boop, pop. Well, do don't, don't insult Dolly, okay? <laughs> I think you're putting her down right now. Uh, I got. I She's guess. a well-functioning robot. Okay. Look, she got FTL back on 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 the stream. All right. Apparently, she cares so much about FTL that she just keeps talking about it and wanting it, which I thought was kind of weird. I didn't think she would be that big into FTL at all. But what do I know? It's so funny. Nobody ever. She came late. <laughs> she never comes and hangs out and plays video games with us. But anyways, um, <laughs> she came late to FTL, which was, was oh the yeah, it was part. funny. <laughs> she did. <laughs> like, oh no, so no one told me. It's like, well, yeah, the, <laughs> or something. So when sneakers? So how many do? I, how much do I have to donate or something? Uh, a, a sum would be appreciative. The more would be. <laughs> if if I got a thousand dollars right now, I would kick speed off and we'd load sneakers up right this second. What the heck? I can't even be there for it. <laughs> So you gotta pay. Let's get him out. You gotta, you gotta pay one dollar extra to have speed. Speed's like DLC to the package. You Come know? What? <laughs> he's he's EA quality DLC. Speed has left the chat room. Yeah, I, I was like, how long can I be silent without realizing it's a podcast? <laughs> but like, dang, how did you come? That was EA? really ruthless, wasn't it? That sorry. was mean. <laughs> that was more. That mean. was rude. <laughs> You should apologize by playing sneakers. <laughs> I'm a man. Donate one bit to get. Oh man, look at all these robots in chat. Anyway. But uh, yeah. The thing, the thing with sneakers is that like I have av actively avoided like looking it up and knowing what it actually is. So the longer it takes, the longer it's like, man, I just want to know. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Maybe. 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 maybe if, if you guys are lucky, we'll get to it this week. I'll ask Rob then. <laughs> if we don't get to it this week, I'll ask Rob to stream it because he <laughs> has it, which is pretty funny. <laughs> it's it's a game that's for sure. But uh, we were talking about Kirby Night and not sneakers. Sneakers Night? Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Carl. Oh, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. Um, so any 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 comments about Kirby Night in general? Because I, I, it, was, it was pretty good. I think it was definitely, though, though you did say the viewer count was definitely one of the lower ones. I, I think it was it was the most content heavy, too. So, like, I mean, Ice Climber went back through the whole thing and yeah, she did a did. bunch of clips. That is true. And stuff um, like that. The, uh, I, I liked both commercials that I did. I thought they were a little <laughs> more on the solid the water. side. The water was the best part of the, that was the whole start of that entire commercial. It was like, I, like, literally, I was just sitting there like, I need to spill a cup of water for a commercial. I've got it. Kurt cake commercial. Salt water <laughs> cake. It's perfect. And that's how awesome. it became a thing. Curb night. I need, to make, I need to make commercials for you again. Curb night was like, I was just sitting there and I was like, oh, curb. I'll just put my Kirby amiibo on a curb and I'll call it curb night. That'll be a great commercial. It'll be super quick and straight to the point. So I, th I thought <laughs> I, th I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty good too. Although I did like the the sea salt, the the sea salt. No, not sea, sea salt. Sea salt ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about sea salt ice cream. I had a uh, what do you call it? Sorry to get off topic, but I had sea salt like strawberry slush thing. Ew, that sounds. It was okay. It sounds like too many things going on there. <laughs> it is. It's like tea. It's uh, slush. It's like a lot of hoopa scooch in there, <laughs> as we defined. <laughs> but. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking though. That uh, wait, where, where am I going now? <laughs> the salt cake, the salt water cake commercial was definitely my favorite. Yeah. Um, of that one. 
that VOD isn't saved? It's not? No, I, I cut it up into parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. But, like, I cut out that the way. intermissions, um, partly because it makes people want to come back to the nights when I decide to replay all the commercials that I've done in the past. Right. You need a... <laughs> You need you need to ask people to help you make the the questions for the quizzes though. So you can't just have that them was, rotate. That was kind of see. You know, it comes down to the point where it's like I do feel bad asking for so much help for some of these things, and like then it comes down to like you know I want these people to have like a good time making it, and then to have a lot of people see it and you know benefit them as well, and you know just if, if, well people were re really steamed about that Magalore thing, <laughs> you were. I mean, I, here's the thing. I went onto the Kirby wiki, and Magalore was in the enemy section, so. Okay. Category. So if you want to well, argue let's... against the Kirby wiki, you may go and change the wiki to your heart's content, okay? It could be past villain, then. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, that <laughs> definitely, like, the, the, the trivia, I did 20 questions for the trivia, and that took forever to do. That was awful. I, I, I spent, I, I want to say that was the longest I think I spent out of anything in doing, in upon doing Kirby Night. Like, right. it was just monotonous, tedious, boring work. I, I, I watched Star Trek when I did it, and I just had to sit there and keep watching Star Trek until questions would pop in my head and answers would be good for it. You know, and, and you have to, it's a lot of those questions, like, obviously you guys yell at one question, but like, 19 out of 20 good questions is still probably pretty gosh darn good at all things considering. You know, it's an A in everybody's book. I tried finding questions online, and, like, there's a quiz kind of, like, I found a couple sites that had quizzes about Kirby, but, like, they had ridiculous quizzes, like, what color is this Kirby in this level, or some ridiculous... Let me see if I can find it. Speed, say something. Take over. What? Um, so we're going to talk about Paper Mario Night in a bit, but, no, I, I don't have a good, uh, what was there to say? You put me on the spot. <laughs> I, I, I know. Um, th th there's also a problem because my friend last night, uh, I mentioned him before, Josh, he left his switch here and it's like, I can't just leave, <laughs> I can't just leave right now <laughs> to go hand it to him. That'd be mean uh, about the podcast. I was like, ah, my sister can do it. But now she's taking a shower, <laughs> as I mentioned. So it's like, uh-oh, problems. And now I told him that I'm doing the stream and she's taking a shower. And he's like, ah, forget it. I'll just get it later on in the week. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. But <laughs> I would say this to him. I would say, but you're the one who forgot it. That's what I would say to him. Like, a couple of these questions were like, how many different tunes are in the music test for Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland? Like, who would That's know tough. that? But then after you know, after you fa fail it, then you'll know it after. I mean, I guess, but it's just, I don't know. It just seemed like too much. Like, I wanted a quiz where there are questions that are kind of on the hard side, but if you have some knowledge of Kirby, you'll probably get it in a sense. No, right. I, 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 we did a we I did a, a quiz out, once for a gameathon, like probably gameathon three or four, and it was guess the picture and guess the sound tune. Um, right. I think the best score we got out of that was like I don't know a forty five out of a uh, no a forty five out of a hundred or whatever the out of fifty equivalent is of that. Like forty five percent basically. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. I might actually. I might have that still saved somewhere. But it was some kind relics. Of, it was kind of a disaster in a sense. I, 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 I don't. It might take some time before we do that again. Right. But uh, yeah. It, it, I just wanted the quiz to be kind of like people weren't just sitting there scratching their head. Like I wouldn't have known that, nor do I care. So. So now we got to work on Paper Mario trivia <laughs> yeah if you got how many intermissions two for that again probably two i can't imagine that i'd need any more so when are the when are they gonna be like after chapter like what probably like after six, chapter or... three and six i think it'd probably be a good okay. like, stopping point for that that's what i was thinking just around there <laughs> a little around there 
So let, let's let's move on then to, to Paper Mario Night then. How are you feeling about it? Well, that... it, everyone thinks it's cool that it's a different approach. Well, I mean, we did Earthbound Night, which is the same kind of approach in a sense. But you get to the people get to like. Oh yeah. Okay. Variables. So you forgot? I, yeah, something? I forgot all about that. I haven't like I haven't moved into the zone of that yet. I've been focusing on other things. To, you know, Paper Mario Night is in May, so I still have. You know, two days three weeks left from this point to really work on it so when i get when i start working on it i'll be like oh yeah that's a that's that's a thing i'm, I'm trying i'm trying to get honestly i'm trying to get to the the 22nd because that'll be when i should finish my teeth and everything so they're gonna put the right. the final crown in for the root canal and they're gonna do the last cavity so so, so let's talk about the what what are variables we can uh, mess with again so I was uh, suggesting that we can choose party members uh, to do boss fights with. So like if you want, you know, paracarry for uh, Tabla Blaba and only paracarry, that would be a thing maybe. Um, we talked about like badges and how to set them up. Like what kind of what kind of setups I could use, like what kind of badges do I have that we could do. I, I again, it that was kind of more of a um, a prototype kind of statement like I know I'm going to do it for sure. I'm going to do stuff like that, but I got to work out how I want to kind of get it focused for people. So you'll yeah, excuse me maybe if I a Google form. Yeah. You'll excuse I'm me thinking. if I, I'm not uh, fully ready to talk about paper Mario and I, uh, it's not, it's not in my mind a hundred percent yet. I, I usually okay. with the, usually with the nights, I feel like we've been better off talking about the afters of the night as opposed to leading up to the night. But I, I don't know. What do you guys think? They're thinking no April event. <laughs> yeah, no April event. Uh, we'll, we'll make one up then. Uh, <laughs> well, he Hexagon Inc. was going to do an April event. What? Without me? Yeah. Where? Did, didn't you guys get the memo? No. No one gives me the memo. I. You guys just leave me in the janitor's closet. <laughs> we have a janitor at Hexagon Inc. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Shady Speed. Yeah. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Someone vomited in a. <laughs> I don't know where the sawdust chips are. <laughs> no one tells me anything. For some reason, I work here too, despite the fact that I'm also a bootlegger and not official. <laughs> and I always forget how to do the voice, so it's always different every time you bring it up. <laughs> Until I rewatch a video. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Alright, bye. Anyway, we're not doing a Hexagon Inc. event. <laughs> trying to trick me. I would have got the memo. I would have got the memo. I I'm now Speed, by the way. Oh, not okay. Shady. Oh, good. Shady Speed left us, finally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's get back to the Mario, though. So, because I think it's important to at least figure out a little about how to go about this because we can't just it'd be a little hard to just see, read chat and then like okay so yeah no do that. no i mean i i'm definitely gonna plan it out for sure it's just i haven't really like i haven't got my mind hasn't gotten there yet there's other things i'm trying to focus on right now I'm trying to clean we'll, up we'll, my uh, life man we'll try to do like a google da, uh, form and then i think we can go over each chapter and then see what can be adjusted because for example you can't you can't not use goombario unless you uh kill him off yeah you, and i'm you thinking can either pick between i'm, I'm uh, thinking like maybe uh votes will be like prior to chapters so like you vote obviously you'll vote like on the prologue um that'll probably have to be during or before like just kind of a quick vote and then like d all, during through the entirety of prologue will be you know stuff for chapter one through the entirety of chapter one will be through chapter two and etc 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 I think that's probably the best way to go about it. I just got to figure out how to design it to a way of like what I want to be kind of manipulated in a sense. Yeah, and I think that's the the hardest part. I think with other games like Pikmin, you might be able to. I feel like Pikmin might be an easy one. You could just limit um, what Pikmin you could use that day, for example. That would be actually kind of cool. That'd be weird. Like, oh, you can't use water Pikmin. Uh, this like you can't have that for the final boss. Actually, you can. Uh, you just have to pace yourself because you could have one day where you uh, take out the wall, but then since you can't use a uh, red Pikmin, you can't push the, you know, the uh, the box. Yeah. So you'd have to go the next day, and then hope that people don't vote off uh, red Pikmin. 
that you can't use. Uh, it'd be fun. I'd, it'd be, be kind of weird, I think. I think the better maybe. way to do that is like, you maybe even just split it up into half days. Like for the first half, you can only use, you can't use this. But maybe like the second half would be, you can use that the second half of the day to do cleanup. All right, mark your calendars, guys. It's going to be an April event. <laughs> yeah, okay. I added it to the memo. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think people should, um, I think we should get um, new more ideas for how to vary up the nights. And I think that Paper Mario is definitely a step in the right direction. I, I think Coral should moderate an event that's hosted by some of the Hexagon Inc. members to do stuff so that Coral doesn't always have to do an event every month. Get out of here, Timmy! <laughs> Yo, dweeb. Yeah, here. But, but here. I, I'm Ricardo's friend. Don't drink your orange juice. But I'm Ricardo's friend. <laughs> I don't care. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting for Ricardo. A Cardo? No, Ricardo. Oh, hey, Carl, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was in the bathroom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? I, I, what else are we this, doing? I mean, it's the podcast. podcast has gone off the rails quite a bit, I think. No problem with that. We're, we're, we're definitely not making it to the uh, <laughs> the one that you still don't want to do. <laughs> for what a topic. do you mean? For a topic. <laughs> what topic? The, the, you know what topic that you don't want to do, but that you're nervous about doing because you don't feel like you have enough content for it. Oh, I see. The list about... um, uh, What was it? It was uh, potential... Yeah. Uh, um, potential uh, gr snowy locations yeah, to paint no. pictures of. Yeah. Well, it's no. definitely a hard topic to talk about. I mean, <laughs> I think a nice place would be uh, the the desert in China that um, gets snowy. I don't, I, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> there, is, there is one, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> let's, let's. Oh, look, Paper Mario Night. It says <laughs> Nightbot. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I thought about doing a promo for Paper Mario Night, but I didn't know how hard it was gonna be, and I don't want, I don't want like European extreme, like difficulty. I have a good promo for it. You um, you poorly draw yourself on a piece of paper and kind of just move it around. And you're like, oh, hey guys, it's me, Paper Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, see, it's not so much that I don't like doing events each month. It's just more of like sometimes it's 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 really just dependent on how life kind of just decides to change itself. And like, there's so many projects that I find myself really wanting to do. Like, I want to focus on you know the music box. I want to get more streaming done. You know, I want to make more commercials. I want to do like reviews and stuff and this and that and this and that. And, and but there's like also the darker side of like. In order to do oh. all that stuff, I have to do all the crappy work too, which is, you know, I have to practice in order to make music boxes. I have to sit there and edit for forever in order to make videos. I have to plan things out in order to make events. So it's just like, I, I want to get to this point where everything <laughs> kind of matters in the sense if that makes any sense. What is so gosh darn funny? I you thought are, you said you are promo, singing. not pro mode. <laughs> So oh. I was like, oh, why don't you make one a commercial with the paper Carl? And you totally ignored my comment. <laughs> I was like, what's what a, a promo? I can help you out with an idea for that. Oh, no, Not pro so mode, awesome? like difficult mode. <laughs> Gosh, that, I, I felt stupid right when just Brian said pro mode is hard. And I was like, <laughs> just just sitting there giggling. It's so stupid. I've never misheard anything that bad. <laughs> well, actually, no, I've done worse, but just the fact that you ignored my comment was so funny. It's like, yeah, but there's there's more things about the part. <laughs> you didn't even ask what you're talking about. Oh, that does a speed <laughs> nonsense. My yeah. bad. And see, then there's other things to like the dark side of streaming, like uh, the hexagon ink taxes that I had to be done. You know, those those are important too. I got my tax return and I spent on a mic. Give 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 me money. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I give you money well, like not each you. month. Not you. Oh. I'm talking about everybody. So yeah, you it's all. It's funny because Carl was like, Oh yeah, here here's the money. Thanks. Uh, uh you, you better appreciate it. I gotta boost the morale of the troops. 
and I was <laughs> making it depressing. I was like, man, you know, I've been subbed for 20 years. Isn't this just all the money I've, do I've subbed for you? <laughs> well, see, that, that money was actually through uh, credit card rewards, funny enough. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Dang. How so. would the credit cards? He told me I'm not a man until I have a credit card. He's not a man until... Well, no, 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 no okay. So, I could go deeper into this and what I actually said if you want. That's not. Okay. <laughs> you already just announced that I'm not a man. Why would I want to go further into being diminished? <laughs> see, uh... see you, 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 you guys always call me a mean, bad guy person, but see, I'm, I'm here looking out for speed, trying to make sure you know we don't go into any further things that need to be discussed, like finances. What? <laughs> But yeah, you know, uh, this fiscal quarter has been very successful for the Carl and Zero One show. At it, least, it, it, yeah, I would say yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Business meeting, like, do we have a hexagon table? We ha we we haven't even had a business meeting at Hexagon Inc. That's how badly but, like. Let's talk about well, if we have nothing else, because um, I don't know how much time we have for our um RPG topic. Actually, I don't think we're gonna. But I that. was, I was gonna say we could talk about. Um, if there's nothing else to discuss, I thought of a good idea. Because last time we indulged the idea of Hexacon, right? I yeah. think Hexagon Inc. is something funny we could talk about, too. Like, what's who, who fills in which role, you know, uh, <laughs> how meetings would be and stuff like that. How would you run it? Um, well, see, I don't I don't really have, like, if, if I look at the roles or if, who is in the group here. I mean, like, I, I, I don't... Everybody's kind of just an equal in a sense, for the most part. Right. So nobody's just kind of designated a role, I suppose. Because I mean, like you know, who's who's secretary? Because everyone likes joking about who's secretary. You know, who's a uh, who's the bank banker? I guess I don't I don't I don't know office roles. <laughs> uh, Who runs security? <laughs> I mean, they're they're. <laughs> I, I I don't yes. know. Like. It's we just gotta do more stuff, I suppose, together to kind of define it. But like at the same time, I'm I'm not I'm not sure if we're truly getting to that point in a sense. You know, like I want you guys to kind of go out there and kind of build up. I want you guys to build up your own group so that like all the groups kind of merge into one big old hexagon. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's funny because it's called Hexagon Inc. too. But we have more than like six main members, I feel, or something. Because <laughs> because it would be cool if it was like, oh, it's Hexagon Inc. Because there's six main people in it. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. I was more just making a joke, like, oh, how would our business look? Like, um, do you have a sleek <laughs> exterior to the building? Oh. You know. Well do we have a committee for our party planning it's a party planning planning committee <laughs> not uh, no we don't have those yet um we're, we're kind of we need more money to really establish a, the, the party planning fund if you will you guys should donate what the heck <laughs> <laughs> hello uh we're all gathered here for uh, uh wh whose birthday is coming up <laughs> uh we're the party planning committee. We gotta, we gotta plan it. Who would you think would be in the party planning committee? <laughs> uh, of just the, the the group, um, not myself. So Brian said he wants to be part of it. I, I don't, I don't see Tom really being a party planner all that much. I don't know. Maybe that's that's a, a hidden skill that none of us know about Tom. Um, Katie would probably be all right with it. I feel like she would enjoy planning a party, maybe. Uh. I don't know, Evan seems more of like a life of the party kind of guy, so I'm not <laughs> sure about him. Um, Runa, Runa likes to, well, probably is also like at the party kind of person. I, I kind of see that more out of her. Um, Logan's definitely a person at the party. I think you're kind of more of a person at the party. I'm not really sure you you would want to be a party planner. I mean, I helped plan uh, <laughs> some of the events with you tonight. <laughs> I, I, that's that's a well that's a different story yeah, different <laughs> it's different because this is a fake scenario it's and that's real different <laughs> hmm. 
So uh, I, I, I guess uh, Brian and Katie are the party planning committee if there was ever to be one. Who works at warehouse? Uh, Oop. Hey, Zorks, do you want to <laughs> well, No, the... Logan. Logan works at the warehouse. Logan? Oh, of course Logan yeah. works there. You're right. <laughs> What was I thinking? He's the only one qualified to run a forklift. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be. I can't do that. I'd probably like drift around there, you know. We'd have to have a basketball game like in the office. <laughs> uh, well, so, see, I think like Evan and and you would probably be like video editors. I don't know. The editing video team. editors, <laughs> right? Uh, what wait, Chris would be uh Chris would be Oh we can't even mention Chris. Uh, I'm trying to think of what role Chris would be best for. Hmm probably he would he would be your I think he would be your VOD manager. Yeah, probably. Because he's pretty good at doing it for himself. Which um, which I think would probably just be on the video editing team, all things considered. Right. I, I'm more I'm I'm less video editing and more um The graphic, graphic. artist. The graphic artist, even though I'm not really good at it. <laughs> um, Troy's not even part of this. Which no, is, he's not. It's still funny. <laughs> it's still really funny that he's not even involved. <laughs> Don't even mention him in this. Um, I was also thinking maybe uh, who who would handle well? Who's I think Varuna would be security if we had security. The receptionist, I guess, because she always says hi hi. <laughs> Or is it hee hee? I don't know. I don't know how to interpret hi hi. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, th I think uh, Rune is the only one that's actually licensed to uh, ha have a firearm at the moment out of the whole entire licensed? group. So really, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, that's uh, that's impressive. Rune, if you're still out there, that, that is true. Correct? Like, I, I know for sure you go out to a range every now and then. I think. And then, and then Tom would be like, well. <laughs> Your guns are powerful, but I studied the blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then um, there'd be the classic Indiana Jones scene where Bruno just blows <laughs> and, <laughs> and then Tom's dead. Okay, and the story. Is it Nov security? I guess you're right. I mean, he does do. Uh, was it bouncing? Is a bouncer? I, I don't. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Doesn't doesn't he talk about it from time to time? You got me. I, that, I've never heard heard him talk about that at all. That's I'm, his job. I thought. I, I've never heard him talk about his job. Let's. Uh, someone call. Oh, now. Oh, uh, Brian he works says he retail? works retail. But uh, maybe he was joking about the bouncer thing. But I thought he was. Get, where's Nov? I guess he's busy right now. No problem. Hey, he doesn't want to be here right now. <laughs> you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but Nov is also the financier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and then what would, what would Brian be? What would Brian be? We're painting a picture here. It's almost complete. Brian would be the gym, I think. Of the, the gym? Yeah, you know, he'd be, he'd, he'd do pranks on, on whoever Dwight would oh, be. Oh, Jim Halpert? Dwight would, I don't yeah, see yeah. Brian being Jim Halpert, okay? But, okay, then I guess, who would be? Because so, I know Chris basic, is Dwight. Basically, then... <laughs> No, because then basically Brian would be Jim and then Logan would be Dwight. I guess you're right. But I was also thinking Chris is more of a Dwight than um, Logan. Yeah, but I, I don't see Brian pulling the best jokes on Chris. Um, streamer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a Dwight impression, but that was the best I got. <laughs> Speed, what's your, what's your job again, Zorix? Uh, it's a uh, warehouse, I guess. <laughs> well, you've been Actually, you would be like you would be the the data collector or something. What, what are those called? Data miners? Wait, no, that's a that's a different. Yeah, that's a very different thing. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? You, librarian? No, that's not even it. <sighs> uh, you know what I'm trying to get at, though, right? They kind of keep documents on everything. They kind of like file stuff. What's evening's job? Potato farmer. <laughs> what does that have to do with XCOM Inc. Though? Cook. I, I guess Evie is this uh, master chef over there. Caterer. <laughs> <laughs> and dollies are, are the computer. <laughs> Dolly is the master computer. So basically, Dolly's like Karen. 
Yeah. <laughs> Except get your chair and talk like this instead of you know like this. <laughs> you could data manage. I'd be horrible at warehouse stuff. Huh. <laughs> Potato only food. I think I think we painted quite a good picture here. Uh, <laughs> could we have the the. No? Okay. No. no. We'll, 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 we'll get it next time. <laughs> we'll get them next time. We'll get them next time, boys. <laughs> what a stupid business. <laughs> What's even the point of the warehouse? <laughs> I don't know. What, Mexican Inc. is hardly established as, a, as an entity. Like, well, you know, if we have the roles, then we could start the entity. The only thing I could think of to put in the warehouse is video games. That would be it. <laughs> Forklift video games. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, guys, I got, I got, I'm gonna play, uh, you know, Banjo Kazooie, and then Logan comes in, beep, 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 with a big forklift and drops like just a single cart on the floor. <laughs> no problem, boss. And just backs it out of the room. <laughs> The warehouse full of hexagons. I guess you're right. Like, what even is a hexagon for hexagoning? What's our slogan? Uh, hexagons. Six ways to awesome. Hexagon. <laughs> How much time did you spend on that? I just thought of it. Okay. <laughs> How about another? <laughs> How about one where we both each like we say a word and then we end it. That's how Mojif started. It, yeah. and you see where that's at now. Yeah, but it, Evan was like, you know. It's like, oh, I gotta think of a really good one. And then 10 minutes later, machine. No, trust us, just don't is only VG don't and the please don't watch us watch this podcast podcast. All right. How about, okay. I'll say a word and then you say a word. Um, the. Skype. Is. Discord. I don't like <laughs> <laughs> We'll we'll workshop it and then we'll we'll do it next podcast. We'll, we'll <laughs> say another slogan for you guys. I don't I, I don't know what else to say. No, it's just I, I don't know. Like I'm trying to figure out what to what to really create out of Hexagon Inc. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say I'm kind of at a block still. I guess it just surprised me that you even pulled out, like you know. Uh, it's Brian and Logan to be members of this thing that isn't really a thing. <laughs> you know, you, you set up the channel, the secret channel, no one can see, and then set up this thing, and it's like, ah. I think the only good point of it would be to, for, for now, the, you know, like, okay, I'm going to stream at this time. Um, hopefully we don't, we don't overlap, you know? I mean, stuff like it, that. the overlapping thing is kind of... I've talked to a few of you guys about it. It's, it's, it doesn't bother me. Like, if you guys want to go stream at you know, my time, go go do it. But, I mean, the, the only thing I know that's stopping you guys is that, uh, as of now, for the most part, like, most of the people that do go watch your streams is the people out of my chat at the moment. But yeah. the only way you're going to build up, too, is when you go and build up your own community. Not everybody likes Carl 101, as sad as I am to say that. I'm not me thinking. included. You know. Yeah. Uh, see? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I've, so. I love saying that. Everyone's like, if, why do you hate me so much? Why don't you come to my streams? I always say, I hate you so much, I always attend. <laughs> Speaking of, I guess since this is already a disjointed like podcast, um, I think we can finish off with our, the emotes, because I think that's a pretty important discussion. Oh, yeah. We've been going over them for a while. Um, did you add anything new? Uh, no. I, you don't I, like the glasses one? <laughs> no, I... So I, I never got a chance to really look, like go about it and just look at it. Is that the emote that we really that we want it to be? Like so, yeah, I, I, it's done. But I mean, I don't know like if people would use it. I guess is my. Well, uh, let me let me let me show it on the screen here. And we can take a look here at it. Um, so this would be the third emote in the, the first tier of emote subscriptions to be globally used. Um, it's really goofy looking. I, I kind of do like it. <laughs> um, it, it is uh, me with a very messed up. The, the joke of it came that um, so I'm in the process of trying to get new glasses. Like, I, this has been ongoing now. I think for this is week three. I think for getting glasses, 
new prescription. Right, we didn't even talk about that during the, the No, weeks. we didn't. I didn't really think about <laughs> it, to be honest. Um, well, there's not really much to talk about. You know, I went in and my, my left eye sucks. My right eye sort of sucks. Um, that, that was pretty much it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they, they went to go make the glasses. And then when they sent the lens, the, my left lens was, like, completely wrong. Like, not even close. So they were like, we're going to have to reorder it. So right. That happened to me. Um, I ordered glasses online, but I didn't realize I had astigmatism at the time. Or at least I forgot. <laughs> so so this, so this Speed was like, here, let me draw this really goofy looking impossible, never going to actually happen to a pair of glasses, glasses on my face. <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I think I posted that during the stream, and then you just started rat laughing suddenly, but not like deliberating why. <laughs> I think it's because you saw the image. <laughs> yeah. So, but so I, I like the picture. I like the drawing. I'm just trying to figure out like the full meaning of it. You know. Yeah, because it, it it has a what do you call it? It's kind of an uncanny valley. But I do think at the moment it's definitely like if something stupid happens. And it's like, what just happened? Because you say that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I that guess... That would be a good one. But, I mean, so Carl I... Kaman also kind of would be used there. Um, I mean, it could also... Like, I, I'm thinking, like, what the name to the emote as well. So, I could uh, call it, like... Uh, I think I'm going to have to redo uh, Pog Carl. I'm going to have to take that offline for probably a better part of a day as well. Because I'm going to... Because the naming convention. Well, yeah. Then I kind of fixed that by just, like, typing 01 to the end of it and then name it so like now carl 101 come on is correct um and like carl 10 pog carl seems weird so i should just put the 01 at the end of it now and then it'll solve all the problems for it so it comes down to the question of what should i call this one should it be like carl 101 think uh what thonk. just happened i'm thinking think or thonk or analyze would be pretty good yeah um, i guess carl think but like, I could if, also if just was, remove the glasses. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if you remove the glasses, I think that would make more sense of it calling it think. Like, this is more of a, a joke of something that happened as opposed to what the practical use of it could be, really. If I if I do that, we can compare them and then see what um like the Discord chat thinks and stuff. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. How's the uh, how's the dollar signs coming along? I haven't worked on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, Bruno, Bruno um, says they look like GoGo Gadget glasses. I'm not Inspector Gadget. <laughs> oh, Dolly, does that mean like you're kind of like Inspector Gadget? You're Inspector Dolly now? Cause like he's kind of robotty. Dun 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 dun, Detective Dolly. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. And th see, dun, 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 dun. see, then I could I could dun, be the dun, bad guy. Dun, dun. I could be the bad guy of the show because I'll I'll be like, next time, Dolly, next time. But then Dolly also talks like this. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Carl, <laughs> whatever you want. Dolly, Dolly at this point is like, I will accept any lore you throw at me. <laughs> <laughs> what other kind of emote ideas were you? Did you kind of want? Like fulfilled um, because... Honestly, I don't have any ideas. Is the thing like I, I based a lot of these ideas like obviously Pog. Car I didn't even know what Pog Champ was until somebody literally told me that it's this emote right here. So Carl Command was a a, a a creation of yourself, or from yourself, and it was actually an idea that uh, Chris had. M most of them, the Carl Kaman and that yeah. One. So I mean, like I, I, I don't, I don't. They're not like my strongest thing to have ideas for because a lot of these emotes that I put in, like to just FFZ, like they, some of them are hits, some of them are kind of okay, and I, 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 I don't know what to really get rid of and keep and all that kind of stuff too. So, well, people wanted that to be called Carl Blind. <laughs> The glasses one. But see, that, then the problem is, is that like I, I want the emotes to be readily used. I guess, you know, I want I want people I want you guys to go into other streams and like abuse those emotes because then people will be like, oh, what's that? And you know, they come, they look and they're like, oh, who's this Carl One Zero One guy? And then they come in and then they give me money. It's great. <laughs> but I mean, I think the use of it was like, 
There's that one part where you're playing, like, Logan and I think about this sometimes. <laughs> it brings us that, it brings us that, you know, much remorse. You're playing, I think, Spirit Tracks, and then we were both saying, you know, oh, you just have to use that, and then you kept, like, <laughs> you know, going around the torch thing or something. It's a, it's a while ago, so I don't quite remember it, but it's like, I think it's an ice puzzle. And then it, both of us were like, what are you doing? Why, why don't you just do that thing? And then eventually you just did it, but... Like, that would be a good time for Carl Blind. Because then when you're looking in chat, you'd be like, all right, what am I not seeing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I want I want a, a, a Kappa 101. That's another one I would like. <laughs> Capital 101? No, Kappa. Oh. You know? I, don't, I don't know if that could be turp. I don't know if... <laughs> Well, I mean, I did it for Logan, you know. I just, yeah, but you just I put just a, a link hat on his head. On the oh, it was face. more than that. I actually hand, hand drew that whole thing. But besides the face, you know. Yeah, but, I like, uh, I mean, I, 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 guess, I guess you could put my, my me hair on top of a Kappa face, but, like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> or I could just, like, draw a face that's kind of similar. I mean, the, the one that you put in the 25 tier, that's, uh, you know. Yeah, I just uh, I put that there as a placeholder, just because it's kind of like a Kappa face, but it, it, at the end of the day, it never really moded anything. Which, yeah, it's one of those things where it's, I, I'm probably just gonna upload it back to FFZ and be done with it, or I just or you know we'll, we'll see and never have it used. <laughs> but I, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I think we could also just start having other characters as like emotes. Like, what would be a funny one? Like a Waluigi one would be kind of cool. That yeah, you just have for yourself. I, I, I don't know. It's just definitely. I have to draw one that we have to. <laughs> yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, I don't want you to draw like a whole pile of emotes and then like we pick two. No, uh, that's no problem. I mean, out of, out of if if it's not just you, then I could use it for myself, for example. But but even you see the inherent problem with that emote. The, the, the guy is he's, laughing. He's smiling. Yeah, he's smiling. <laughs> yeah. That's not okay. <laughs> you know, the only thing I can think of like for a Waluigi one is just to literally put a Waluigi hat. But like, I, I want, I want. If you guys are gonna pay for an emote, like, I want you guys to get some mileage out of it. Uh, Chris is probably the one who really likes the emotes the most. He always, yeah, he always likes using and, this and one. that's 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 like a good enough reason in itself. Then you know, knowing that Chris uses those emotes, and in other chats, I'm sure he'll probably use Carl command too if he already hasn't done so already. So, uh, going back a little, you know. People were uh, you were you're, you're amping me up to aim for affiliate, right? Yeah. But then I have my own problem of then what's my emote? And I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Why we, not speed I, I was, fired? Actually, but then I was thinking I'm about that. Be, um, <laughs> if it's speed fired, then everyone's gonna fire me on different channels. That's true. Yeah, that is a it's very so, truthful point. So it's like, dang, I don't even win when I win. <laughs> so that, uh, just to admonish me. <laughs> I guess that's up to you, man. <laughs> it's your call. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to, I'll have to wringle a dingle. I mean, I, I needed some Johnny emotes, too, that I hand drawn. I don't know if I could put but... wringle dingles in the speedboat cab. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a subset. It's like a, what do you call it? Like, dingle dang is like a, it's like a prefix. And then, you know, different dialects. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You need an emote of you being fired out of a cannon. That, that's going to be difficult to have. That's a lot for an emote, I think. I think it had to be two emotes then. <laughs> one uh, like one cannon and then two. Do you have a? Out. You know that picture on your main channel of you literally watering something? Yeah. Where you're standing in that goofy stance. I have that. Uh, you, you want that just on the on the stream before we end it? I have no, it. No, no, as no, no, a... no, no. I was thinking like, do you have that as an emote for your channel? I feel like it would be a decent emote. No. Oh, just my face too. That no, would be. That's well, no, just idea. just this you in that stance, like the entire. It's small though. It, it would be a little small, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of a decent emote. But yeah, uh, people. <laughs> Let me just send this to you real quick because my my friends really like that image. Uh, they did they did this. Or, wait, did I do that? I don't remember. Hold on. Give me one here. Here it is. I don't know if you understand what's going on there, do you? Are you turning into the six million dollar man there? <laughs> no. They gave me frame data. Oh. So so you know in a fighting game, the green boxes are like Yeah yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then where, where you can actually just... hit. Yeah. And yeah. Then, okay. <laughs> and then they did. Uh, I did this too. I think. Just, just for the sake of people. <laughs> no. All right, Crystal. Just. Yeah, we got. There we go. Perfect. But anyway, like I need, I need to play Persona at some point. <laughs> people, people would enjoy them. So, I guess I should make that just an emo. I, I might just cut off my head there. I don't know. And people might think it's a Johnny because I don't really have emotes with my. No, I, I, head. I think you can keep the, 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 the head in and everything. I think you can make it work. I'll just make, I'll just make Pog Speed or something. <laughs> when can for Smash? Thank you. But yeah, I guess, emotes is definitely a hard thing to, because it's like, you make one and it's like, are people gonna use this? I don't know. So, so yeah, I guess um, just to kind of wind it down here in a sense, uh, I think yeah. the thinking car would probably be a good for the next one, for the third emote in the first tier slots, and then um, I I I I really enjoy the idea of the the dollar sign Carl being in the third tier slot. I think that I good. think we could uh, just make a new drawing so it doesn't feel like just a rehash. Yeah, that's that's probably fine. Um, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt. It's not not hard because. <laughs> And, but like then, then there's the, the issue of like, do we even want to fill the second tier slot at all? You know, or do we I mean, it, just... it would definitely incentivize if they're like really good. Yeah, but... I suppose that's true. So I guess kind of got to come up with a really good idea for those, or for that one specifically. It, it should be like a three set, I think. So then it's like, um, you have a, uh, we we have to figure out something, but it should be something that people have to, you know, put two together, you know. Kind of like uh, what's what's a common one, like uh, the mercy one with the wings. I guess that one counts. Yeah, and, you know, kind of yeah. These I, ones, kind of like uh, something something like that, like a a good pair mm -hmm. that you'd add to the other emotes too. We'll, we'll think of something. Maybe yeah. maybe you and your dirty cup, <laughs> as people call it. <laughs> wait wait. And then on. people will post it during hydrate bot. You know, that's a good one. Carl one zero one Waluigi. <laughs> Like the reface with Waluigi? Oh, that, that's that's turning the side. Oh, the cup's spilling. Wait, hold on. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold what on. happened? I can, ah. I can make this better. Oh no, water's like spilling out. Oh no, oh no. Wait, no. hold on. Oh. I'm, I'm spilling water out. Oh no. Oh gosh, no. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh no. Oh, it's like that clip I had, but <laughs> I can't share here because it's a. Uh... A little graphic, <laughs> <laughs> but <sighs> I think I think we could wrap up the podcast here. Sorry, it was a little messy today, but we're out of our element. We we haven't had these in a while. No, so. okay, okay. So re just 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 to totally stop speed here. Today's podcast was fantastic. Was sponsored. We're getting there. <laughs> down. Calm down. It's, it's it's a good podcast. I thought we talked about we 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 had a lot to talk about, and that that's okay because that's you know that's what you do on. A but podcast. I, I mean, I, I think about podcasts because uh, I mean, this could be a eventual topic. But I mean, a lot of people don't like disjointed, disorganized podcasts. I know that's um actually a big complaint, but like I don't have a problem with it. But I know that some people do, which is unfortunate. I mean, I mean but I understand too why they feel that way. Does does, does everybody here feel this podcast has been? Sub, this is, I mean, the, the podcast is literally called the Please Don't Watch This Podcast podcast. So, <laughs> I think anything kind of goes really. I don't think there's any rules that we have to abide to. I suppose you're right. And, and if people, and I mean, if 12 people here are like, yeah, I enjoy this, then you know, I just think of that, you know, just from a professional standpoint, even though I know that that's not. And us. if any, and tr <laughs> truthfully, if anything, I find that when we're off topic. We actually have more to really talk about as opposed to like when not to say that our our more scripted topics of what we write out isn't what we have to talk about or good enough to talk about. But you you get, you get what I'm saying? Like when we were a little we were, when whoa, we whoa, whoa. God I, I had like a bubble that just appeared in my mouth. You had a you had a you had a speed there. Like when we literally started talking about Pokemon, we we like went completely off topic to talk about Pokemon again. For the most part, so, and we were okay with that, and I think everybody was more or less okay with that. So, yeah, I mean, Dolly said it best. The first podcast was shooting the breeze and looking at desserts. I and think we should do that again since that's not vaunted at all. 
Looking at, looking at weird desserts. But we 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 we, we kind of talked about tasty video game food the last time too. So. Yes. So well, yeah, there there you go. But they didn't see the weird pictures of the foods. I I, I guess. I mean, it makes it so then they have to watch it even though we tell them not to. I feel like podcast one was desserts though. I don't know. Podcast one was never uploaded. Well, it was it was that time. One. Yeah we, ha- yeah, we have weird... Th- this whole thing has been like... There are like three episodes that aren't even considered the podcast, but they were podcasty. Yeah. Because I think the desserts, we were playing a game, but then we couldn't think of something to do afterwards. I think it was I think it was when we played Arcus Odyssey, because that game didn't work. Oh, you God. Recall. Yeah, I remember that game. Then. And then afterwards, it's like, well, what do we do? And it's like, oh, here's a picture of a funny dessert. And then... It skyrocketed. Yeah, we, go, we couldn't find anything better to play, so we just started talking. Oh, that that was also when we were talking about like games you like, like uh, on a scale. Oh, it was Fire, fire Strikers. <laughs> we had the chart, the graph. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, well, that was epi- what 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 would that make this episode then truly? Uh, I, I, have it, I have it listed 16? as thir- it's thirteen on on the on on the page we're looking but at right real now. fans might ask you know what's the real number so real we're... number is 60 <laughs> <laughs> sure whatever <laughs> uh now then um before we uh before we uh get get off here um we'd like to take a moment to uh talk about our uh, sponsor Um, what are uh, you drinking there, Carl? Nothing, because my cup's empty. Um, this this week's um, sponsor is. Uh, I it was a, I was uh, a Chakazuma's uh, really rambunctiously rawsome Rockalit. The video game. It's, it's really fun. Um, go. Oh, yeah. God. Um, do you have the memo from the hexagon? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking for it. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, um, we were supposed to get that a while ago. Look, look, I'm a little, it's a little unfortunate. Look, it, it, sometimes they don't get sent out properly, okay? It's, look, we're doing a podcast right now, okay? Just calm, calm down. Um, Beep! Oh, it's, I just swore. It's, I swore uh, yeah. li- live. It's okay. I, I completely forgot what we were talking about. What were we talking about? Um, yeah, the, the, the game, the Chokuzuma's memo. Oh yeah, um, it's really fun. Really? Yeah. I can prove it though. I mean, has it, did we even hit the what the sponsors want us to say about the game? Besides, I just said to fun. say something really fun about it, so I said really fun. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they want more. I mean, look, the pay is pretty important. I mean, that's why we get sponsors. I mean. I'm... I mean, our sponsors haven't really been paying much as, as it is. Right, can we get? Can we get? Uh, should we get? Should we get the uh, memo? Should we ask someone for the memo? Um, uh, maybe Br- uh, Brian. Uh, Brian the temp. Can 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 you go get the memo for us? Appreciate it if you could. Uh oh, Brian. Know, Brian's uh, checked out for the day. Oh. Shoot. Dang, oh, shoot. He had the memo. Um. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wait, wait. oh, oh he's, he's back. Oh, okay, good. Uh, coming up later um, on, on the radio network is uh, some freeform jazz, followed by some non freeform jazz. Um, but, uh, yeah. Wait, where's the tape? Where's the tape? We got. We need the tape to. Oh, I, I know. I, uh, I, was, I was trying to set up the, the, the brand new CD player today, okay? The, but we got a CD player. Would we get the budget for that? I, mean, um, I thought we we're doing cassettes. Look, c- pointed cassettes. to the pointed to the microphone. Look, I, I, dude, CDs are the way of the future. Like, I, I know this is hard to, hard to say, but um, uh, <laughs> what's wrong, Brian's. <laughs> <laughs> Brian sent me. <laughs> Brian, the, the memo that Brian sent me was: memo implies nation efforts leads to war crimes. 
<laughs> and he's gonna get fired for that one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's all right. not the memo. Uh, all right, people. That's it's enough of sponsor time here. If you if you want to be sponsored on the 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 please don't watch this podcast podcast. Send us a link to uh, please something don't, you want. Please don't. We, e- get, we could. No, no. Please don't e- email the please don't watch this podcast podcast at yahoo dot com. No, it's the please don't email this email at the <laughs> at the please don't calmthiscalm.com <laughs> it'd be cool if we sponsored some uh some other people's stuff though i mean you know it'd be fun some... if people had the thing to sponsor I, see i don't know if anybody would want to sponsor <laughs> what are we just <laughs> the final verdict always we'll just have this this verdict tracking of like like bottom tier will just be called please don't <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Shout out Dolly Stream. Uh, well, you'll have to pay the uh, yeah, you gotta, advertising costs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You got, hit us up at uh, please don't email this podcast podcast at please don't watch this yeah. podcast podcast dot com dot com <laughs> forward slash uh, don't <laughs> forward slash secretary warehouse manager and I don't know what kind of email address associate to. to <laughs> The hexagons, Brian. Oh no! Oh, Did fuck. someone just join us right when we're doing stupid yeah, things? It looks like yeah, it. It's okay. Well, thanks well, for dropping by. I'm not YouTube famous. Uh, have a good night, uh, and everybody else. Thanks for dropping by. Wait, hold on. You, you got to play the freeform jazz, right? Oh, oh, is that is that how we're ending these now? Yeah, put it put in the put in the disc. Let me know when it's in. Hold, hold on. Um. Is this is this is this the one? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, people. Uh, th- thanks for coming by. Have a good have a good night. All right. Good night. <laughs>